Party fans, your network just got stronger with Voodoo Ranger Heart Charge Tea. Made with real tea, a stronger connection to a heart tea is finally here. Voodoo Ranger Heart Charge Tea with 7% ABV. I heard someone over here say roll a one. Yeah, this, your wish is my command. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one. I got great news. You're, now, I know what you're saying. But, Jerry, that's a one. <laughs> Very first time I roll my new dice, and it's a fucking one. <laughs> I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been sculpted by Dwarven Forge. Space! Starforged is our first sci-fi set in Dwarvenite. It covers all the basics and is completely standalone. However, it's made to scale with our past terrain so you can drop high-tech bases in dungeons, hellscape, wilderness, and more. The core pieces are a flexible collection of walls, floors, and corners that can build everything from RPG infiltration scenes to full-scale wargame battlefields. Our new catwalk system lets you design perilous walkways for dynamic combat, and the same sculpts combine to create pipelines for even more variety. Our biscuit system lets you securely connect your pieces so you can make towering buildings and elevated platforms that you can move as a single piece. We've maximized playable space with cleats that let you safely maneuver minis on pipes and ramps. We offer everything hand-painted so you can play right out of the box or you can go unpainted and do it yourself. Everything is cast in our special Dwarvenite, so it's extremely durable. That's everything you need to know about Starforge. This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Previously on Acquisitions Incorporated, Omen Drawn, Jim Dark Magic, Certainty, Bobby, and Evelyn were tasked with extracting the faint possibility of a kinder, gentler Asmodeus from the Copenhagen interpretation of fantasy quantum mechanics. They were given one month and blew the lead. Consulting with Morden Kanan, you have realized that you are going to need Asmodeus's true name. Oh. Oh. What? Jesus. In desperation, the party seeks help from the cult of Vecna, specifically the daughter of Vecna, the Greyhawk version of Strix. Yay! Perfect. This is my hand. This is my hand. Strix brings them to a burned-out temple of Bacab, 
where her informant knows of a tome rumored to contain the true names of the nine lords of hell. Omen, do you recognize this place? This is the temple that you saw burn down and kill your daughter's certainty. Gay yes. treachery again, 2.0 the sequel. <laughs> you need to pretend that you like devils. Do you understand that? Especially you. Well, I like everyone. No, no, no. I don't. You know, it's a, that's for you and Lathander to work out. I have like a, a hoodie that says go devils. That's too far. Okay, all right, that's too much. That, now it's weird for the devils. Yeah, you can't wear the, own, the devil band shirt to the devil. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> certainty divines that this temple was an archive, that her alternate self died trying to protect but her specter yet dwells where two realities kissed with tongue. I wonder if we could like reanimate her and have her like do my homework for her. <laughs> I could try. I mean, it's worth a shot. I if, feel like if, you if could. If dead you was in here, that's, oh. I can fuck around with some bones. The cult vainly searches an open sewer and is about to sacrifice the Vecna informant to juice their luck. May I have a last request? Uh, also, I think that's a really bad sacrifice. I think you guys could do way better. I think that dishonors Asmodeus. Is it really a sacrifice if it's somebody they wanted to kill anyway? Please give me a, a charisma <laughs> persuasion check. I sure love those. That's a 20. Oh my god! Woo! It's almost as though like the only worthy sacrifice would be like you yourself. Have you been playing Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> Are you going to kill yourself? Or? <laughs> With that, a portal to Avernus opens and hell breaks loose. I, I feel like the vibe got weird. But the ghost of alternate certainty senses that this omen did not end up like her own father. She looks down at you, omen. You hear her say, Dad, you're so much better. And I'm okay. Then I can leave. She... Ends forward, you gained 20 temporary hit points. Oh, Holy crap! Wow. I know, that's like that's twice as much HP. Another that's omen. so much less twitchy Yeah, it's like another us. character. It's about to go down now. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Using a stone of great sentimental value, Certainty takes aim at the barbed devil emerging from the portal. I watched him do this throughout the entire series, and I say, welcome to the gym dark magic experience, <laughs> bitch. Whoa! <laughs> But when it misses, Omen shows what a good dad he's become. I think that I have plenty of movement to step into hell and get this rock. <laughs> oh my god. So arrogant to step into my realm. I will give you one last chance to redeem yourself in my eyes. Bow. I just came for this. <laughs> and I'm gonna walk back out the portal. <laughs> Just as the fury of hell descends on the party, Morden Kanan makes it personal and sends the devils packing. I will pick Jim up off the floor and I will hug him close to me. And then I'll look at the barbet devil and say, take five, Brad. <laughs> Cast mass suggestion. Uh, all right, what's the DC for? 21. <laughs> The informant points the party to a book which contains answers to a puzzle where the actual tome is hidden. An infernal cookbook, and to make this recipe will require special ingredients. Back at Vi's laboratory, each party member must give up a memory of a vice from their own life in order to restore Asmodeus's memory of how far he'd fallen. Uh, I have a very strong memory my first night where I was headlining Jim, Dark Magic and Lights, the crowd going wild. And that memory is now gone. Oh, shit. Will you give it up? Sometimes when I see certainty and omen, I wish that I ever got to see my dad be a good person to me. Envy? But he was too busy working for Lathander too. Certainty is utterly wrathful that a version of her dad gave up her brother. Oh. She would yeah. wish he would be damned to hell instead because how could he do that to little Bodhi? Then that wrath is forgotten. But Bode is not. I remember a time when travelers came and stopped at the World Tree, and it was the first time that I had ever seen a family like this, where they all, they all genuinely loved each other. And that's why I left the World Tree, to be with this group of people. But that feeling that I can't find is why I constantly stuff my face with cheese. Oh, no! A Strix thinks about finding out that her father was Vecna and that he's so powerful. So she didn't have a family and, and she didn't know Evelyn, so she had no influence of good in her life. 
And so she's just a vessel for greed, for power, and she wants to forget that. Whoa. Oh, well, know the secret that Strix is the daughter of a god, and then all of you, including Strix, forget it. Sick. As you taste these cookies, you see him, but no horns, with two glorious wings. May iniquity be burned away in the light, for it is not just to condemn the finite to infinite torment. What have I become? My true name is Justice. And that is where we will end. Yeah! We have an adventure to continue, for they just discovered the true name of Asmodeus. And so, continuing this adventure, we have tonight Anna Prosser returning as Evelyn Marthane. We also have Jasmine Bellar as Certainty Drawn. <laughs> also joining us is the daughter of Vecna herself, but she no longer remembers that, is Strix, played by Holly Conrad. And last, but never least, we have Jerry Holkins as Omen Drawn, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. That feels right. They're making it rain tonight. <laughs> Here, this is for you. You need some spending money. Thank you. All right. So Dungeons and Dragons, is that what we were thinking? Or? I like D&D. &D. All right, let's I'd try I'd play it. that. Let's give it a shot. Is that where we're going? You just consumed the most delicious red velvet cookies in the multiverse. We're treated to an amazing vision of Asmodeus, the Lord of the Nine Hells, in his original form as the Angel of Justice. Mm. And as you come down, from that heavenly high, you realized shit is getting weird. Oh, fuck. I hate when that happens. When that tracks, though. Honestly. That's so weird for us. That never happens. Yeah, I thought I was just going to go home, but I guess not. <laughs> as, you, as you look around Vi's lab with the kitchen in front of you, the black obelisk over in the other room that holds the impossibility within it that might transform Asmodeus into a more merciful version of himself. You realize that the angles of the room are starting to go strange. Right angles are starting to curve. Bobby is zigzagging his form and he is standing right in front of the fridge of eternal cheese that <laughs> I made for him. Aww. That's right. Yes. And there is suddenly a strange pop sound and a powerful smell of cheddar in the air, and you see Bobby get sucked into the refrigerator. Uh, I, I mean, is he mad about it? That's my question. <laughs> And Maybe that's this, how Vi built it. Right. At this, Vi looks around and she goes, Oh, honey. <laughs> I don't think we should have done this ritual near the obelisk. You know, the obelisk that changes reality around it. And as she says this, Jim, who is standing right next to you, Strix, has ah. that same zigzagging over him. I take a really step far away. I just... Make a dexterity saving throw. Oh boy, oh boy. Ugh. I'm really far. I'm so far. 
Wait, don't, oh, I don't have all my uh, That's okay, that's a two. <laughs> yep. Well, here, no, 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 here, oh, it, I, I got this, hang on a second. I mean, obviously, go ahead, add the stat bonus, mm -hmm. and also the skill. Hmm. <laughs> uh, that's, right? that's it, that's it. I mean, that's, yeah. that's the whole calculation, oh, okay. so. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. sorry. This uh, wasn't an attack that happened on her, right? It was the not. Yeah. Well, I mean, not in the classic sense. <laughs> I mean, I could argue, we could spend some time arguing yeah. that. Yeah. No. Um, no. I'm also lactose intolerant. <laughs> well, luckily for you, the only dairy that Jim has consumed recently was in the cookie. Oh. And Jim, just as Bobby is absorbed now in the cheese fridge, which is currently sprouting Bobby's mohawk. <laughs> oh. Jim zigzags and merges with you. <gasps> oh, I <laughs> This is incredible. <laughs> and Can I wash him off? As you try to wash Jim off. <laughs> is he sticky? Well, you notice that his wands are <gasps> now on your belt. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Please tell me there's friend. That was a horn, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hit it with a horn. One of my favorite moments in the entire thing was, was Taffy Vi. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, because Taffy Vi is like not part of it. Yeah. And then eventually Taffy Vi is like smoking. It was impossibility season, and so Vi yeah. just got like stretched 20 feet long. Her yeah, she got super long. Described it as Taffy. And, and, but she, still breathing, which yeah, was like, my favorite very, part. Like very, a lot of time spent on the breathing. Mostly. Yeah, unlike, yeah, I mean Taffy obviously, broadly writ, is not living. So this is a type of yeah. living Taffy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not and that we would ever eat Vi no. unless it was required. There was a lot of like description description of how moist she looked. Oh, yeah. There was she a was lot of moisture moist. in this 10 minutes yeah. of the show. And On that note, I'm definitely not lying. It was just every single thing that was described was described as sicky and moist The whole show ended up really being moist. about moisture. I understand that's a spoiler. <laughs> in addition to Vi being warped by the impossibility field into a taffy version of herself, and smoking, <laughs> and what I was imagining was actually the caterpillar from yes, Alice in Wonderland. Yes, yes. 100%. <laughs> I, I got it. Um, also, Morden Kanan tried oh. to then dispel what was happening and was turned into a potted cactus. Yes. Then also, Strix's little chicken claw burst into four skeletons and a strange specter with a Vecna symbol on its forehead. <coughs> and this was all because there was a strange Vecna symbol on the chicken leg and Strix doesn't know where that symbol came from. Exactly. Oh, and, yes. and when the guy appeared, he said- The regional manager. Yeah, he was like, I've come at the behest of your father. But we, yes. know who but that we is. didn't know who that was yes. because we don't Who's have that, that memory and then I anymore. Walked, oh, Strix, I'm, I do have clothes. <laughs> I do have clothes. They're I'm, in the room. It's fine. I, I, fuck. Strix walked up. Strix walked up and said to the, the specter that she was, uh, that she was like, you're not my dad. And they were like, I'm not someone so great. And the yeah, spooky like, okay, voice. Dude. And I was like, oh, damn it. He, this, so now I probably know Vecna's my dad again. Oh, the other thing that's missing, that, like fact wise, is that Bobby, Bobiford, oh, yeah. which is to say Robert Zimarewski, uh, typically played by uh, WWE superstar Austin Creed. Treasure. Um, yeah, love the guy. but. In this particular case, he became fused along with the, the same bizarre power that turned Vi into a taffy serpent and also commingled Jim and Strix together. Mm. Horrible. That same power had a dark effect uh, where it basically made a magical infinite cheese fridge that Bobby was gifted last game and himself, they became a single entity. And so we thought that, we ultimately we felt like that was goals for Bobby. 
Yeah. Like we didn't think that was a problem for Bobby, mm -hmm. probably. And, and he didn't seem to suffer over much. He, di he didn't oh. complain very much. And he got alone time with Vi, which we were all like encouraging. Yeah. We were encouraging it, but we also were trying to figure out exactly what Taffy Vi plus cheese fridge. Yeah. We don't know if that, I mean, I assume that's oh. a, I assume that's a channel. Please, the chronological order of what they just said. So the impossibility field of the obelisk interacted with the ritual that they performed at the end of the previous episode. And as a result of that, Jim fused with Strix, Bobby fused with the cheese fridge, Vi turned into a really long piece of taffy, but survived. Morden Kanan actually accidentally turned himself into a succulent. Uh, <laughs> and there were several other potential mishaps, but the group avoided them except for... Strix's chicken foot bursting into four skeletons and a strange specter, all emanating from a symbol that was placed on that claw, and Strix doesn't know where it came from, and those five baddies then made a beeline for the obelisk and said that, that their lord's daughter had placed them right near the obelisk ah, where they needed clear, to be. clear that that's what they were there for uh, and they began then opening a portal to see if they could steal it i mean i think that is honestly everything they got missed that, that really was yeah. Yeah. that's great that was amazing it thank really you. was one seat yeah thank you so much oh, our great Wait pleasure our, our great pleasure Bye -bye. all right now back to the show bye as these five beings emerged from that claw that you had been carrying, you see that the obelisk behind them is now thrumming even more powerfully with its magic. Whoa. Okay. So it they're... actually is. Yeah. So they're way, basically, they're way into this shit, but they can't have it. It's our shit, right? That's what's up. We, we, it was like a whole thing getting <laughs> yeah, that shit. Yeah. It took like, like 12 happen. episodes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was a lot. Lots I'm not fucking with that. Emotions. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There were also feels. Mm hmm all right, Strix, what do you do? Um, well, first I'm gonna note that I do, have, I do have a lot of bones on me. I am concerned. I'm, the correlation is coming pretty quickly that this might be my problem, but. <laughs> a Strix problem? As I look at myself, I'm like, oh, I am yeah, real goth. Yeah, a lot of bones, yeah. Real goth. Um, yeah, so, oh gosh. Um, I'm like, I know you're a paladin. I'm like, should have really been your turn, but you know, like, that's okay. Oh, after you. Oh, oh no! After no, no oh, no. That's fine. Oh, but I. Uh, you know what? I I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and misty step uh, out of the way first. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get as far away from those skeletons and that obelisk as I can. All right. <laughs> and so let's see. Would you like to go over here behind Evelyn? Perfect. Yes. Okay. She looks very strong. And now <laughs> I will uh, cast magic missile on the closest to skeleton to me. Okay. Just fire, How much damage? firing right away, huh? I mean, they I'm look mean. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> All right, let's see. Oop. Uh, oh, nice. Four. Nice, nice, nice. So five. I don't know how many missiles I get. I'm so low level. It's been so long. Oh, I get one more. <laughs> so eight. Eight total? Yeah. All right. Uh, your, your two missiles formed out of arcane force slam into the skeleton there uh, and multiple bones break off it, but that is not enough to destroy it. Hmm. All right. I move further behind Evelyn in her shadow. <laughs> I hunch. Yeah, I hunch. Yeah, I'm now just shrimping behind her. Evelyn, what do you do? There's like a boss skeleton person. It, it is that strange spectral figure behind the four skeletons. Regional manager. Uh, yeah, assistant to the regional manager. They, they came in going, daughter of Vecna, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to try to persuade them. Nope, nope, not <laughs> wrong, here. Yeah, wrong. Wrong place. No, wrong, wrong obelisk. Vec, wrong Vecna. You're yeah, wrong obelisk. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, maybe try the next one over, yeah, exactly. next obelisk. You know, our neighbors have got a, they've yeah. got a great obelisk. I'm pretty sure that, the, and I really, this is not deception because I really don't think the daughter of Vecna is here. Yeah. So this is persuasion. Go for it. Oh man, only six, that gives me an 11. Oh, I want to use my inspiration. I really want to convince him. Is that okay? It would yep. be great. Go for it. Okay. Yeah. 
really seriously not the <laughs> 14? I don't think no. <laughs> so. So this has got nothing to do with you. I just think that it's the number's too low. I was riding high from that persuasion um, last time. You, you say this very persuasively. So cute. Little rosy cheeks. Nice. Hey, 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 everybody. Yeah. And that spectral figure with the symbol hovering in its ghostly face turns its, the two glowing eyes in its shadowy mass and says, you are very persuasive. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but you are also full of shit. Ah! <laughs> oh, hey, so this, that listen, this guy's unkind. cool, actually. It's this mean. guy's cool. He's cool? He just insulted me. Well, that's not the cool part. He said I was full of poo. Yeah, but you're obviously not. I mean, there is obviously, by volume, a certain percentage of you must be. <laughs> so when, uh, when, when we're engaged in a conversation like this, we have to, we have to try to understand what is right about what they've said? What's mm. wrong? Where can we meet in the middle? You're saying there's no poo? You can disagree <laughs> with... You're also very persuasive. <laughs> statement, it's been said. like how they said it, you know? Exactly. I'm behind you, and you smell great. And I say no. If and it's I'm, like, right you. in the vicinity. <laughs> We're just, so. like, all having this conversation. <laughs> now, if it's any consolation, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. So oh, okay. If, well, no, let's, let's meet in the middle on that. Yeah, well, af after you. Absolutely. Really. What if he's my dad? <laughs> Is that, a, is that a possibility? <laughs> Who knows? Anyone could be your dad. <laughs> That's true. I, like, this ghost? Is that goals for you? <laughs> no! <laughs> Are you ghost coded? <laughs> I don't know what coded means. <laughs> coded with Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I have wands. Pew, pew! Oh, yeah, can you use those? And as you go pew, pew. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait, no. wait, wait, wait. Pew, pew! I forgot. Doves was... fly out <laughs> of your sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to do that trick, too! This is the best day of my life. Where'd these come from? But they got nowhere to go. They just hit the ceiling like... Yeah, no, wait, do I have to feed them? Oh, no, oh, no, can I just like, spell them? There's like 20... They just hit the ceiling fast and die. I don't think oh. I've seen them. No. Yeah. I, this, okay, they do, and right? they're, they're dead around me, and I'm, I've never seen a living dove, and now they're all dead, and now I'm just really sad. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Wow. Perfect. Great moment. No, Jim yeah. says that, Uncle Jim always says that when that happens, they're just taking a nap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, those are dead. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I know dead like when I see a it. Good nap. Yeah, that one's twitching. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it's a dream. The, uh, okay. the spectral figure now takes its turn. No. What are you no, just no, leaving? No, 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 <laughs> and no. No, he can't have that. And <laughs> he hovers over to the obelisk. Of course he does. And leans its forehead forward oh, like right, right and now. merges huh? into the obelisk's containment unit. No. Then pulls back, and you see that the glowing symbol that before was on it is now sticking to the obelisk's containment unit. <sighs> and it is starting to blink, oh. that symbol. I really should have just hit him. And the smoke that makes up the figure's form begins to flow now from it around the obelisk, and it is starting to snake around it. Shit. This is weird. <sighs> level 10 omen would have very simple, straightforward answers. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> really? What about level 3 omen? What has he got? Level 3 omen sucks shit. Oh. And, <laughs> um, He's got a couple cool spells, but he doesn't have, he can't dispel. He doesn't have those cool tricks. Mm. Next Maybe we can up all four skeletons, each of which has a bow. They all fire. Mm. Oh, Jesus. How fun for us. All right. You're in luck. The one that was firing at Evelyn was a one. Yes. The one that was firing at Certainty was a two. That's pretty, that's, that's not good. The other one that was firing at, at certainty, I am afraid, is much higher, and it is 21 to hit, but oh. not a crit. But not a crit. And so certainty, you take five piercing damage as that arrow hits you. Got it. Finally, the one coming for you, Omen, 
was a natural 20. Oh, no. Oh, no. And that's, that's, that's good in this game. Was, <laughs> was the reaction I used with my protection fighting style before initiative, that wouldn't count as this turn, right? Nope. You have it back by now. I'm going to, again, with the mom arm to <laughs> you, impose disadvantage. Unfortunately, you are too yeah, far geez. away. Yeah, okay, really I tried. I tried my best. All right. So, Omen, you take 10 piercing oh. damage. Oh, okay, I die. <laughs> I only have six hit points from the last game. And so Omen drops to the floor and is now bleeding out onto Taffy Vi. No. Oh. Just like a clothesline. Oh. And some dead doves, probably. No. Yeah. There's a lot. Oh. They're, they're, they're crunching underfoot. No. And as, as, as your blood gets onto Taffy Vi. Oh. Her, her eyes flutter open just for a moment, and she just says, Oh, honey. <laughs> God. <laughs> this is a lot of fluid. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is, the, this is, we should have announced this as the wettest episode yet. <laughs> um, well, this, is, this continues to be a nightmare. Uh, that's my turn. Uh, that's so, my contribution. So your on your turn, you get to do something very special. <laughs> I get to make a death save? Yes, you get to make a death oh, saving yeah. throw. All right, and I, just, I want more than 10, right? That, that would be good. Even a 10 would be fine. Now, is this sort of, you know how sometimes like in <laughs> poker, sometimes in poker you can make a straight and sometimes it goes around. Are you trying to bellatro this? Yeah, I'm saying is one actually like higher than 20? Yeah. Can it be okay, one he didn't even, he didn't think that was funny at all. I, I, I better, <laughs> I, I better just roll real quick. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a failed death save. Oh. All right. Omen, you are inching toward death. Certainty, what do you do? Um, well, first, I'm going to healing word my dad. Great idea. Bonus. She's going to be like, there, there. Pops, get up. I need you. Pops, Papa. <laughs> what? Pops. <laughs> and I'm going to heal you for, I'm going to do it at level two because I love you. Damn. See, that's, um, that's how you know. That's how that's, you know. <laughs> thank you for the applause. <laughs> <laughs> I only have two of these. Oh. <laughs> so I'm basically, I, I, I'm alive like in quotation marks. Uh -huh. Well, I rolled the lowest I possibly could on those two D4s. So, so is that's that two? a five. Okay, okay. Uh, perfect. So I'll take five it. total. So I heal you for five, and then I just think to myself, what would Uncle Jim do? And I, I for my action, I'm going to cast Green Flame Blade. Ooh. Thank you. But, I always wanted to get one. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna hurt him? And I charge at these fucking skeletons. I'm gonna hit them. All right. <laughs> Omen, you are conscious again. I, I can't wait until the next time my initiative comes. Okay, so uh, if I hit the first creature, I can cause green flame to. <laughs> Never gets old. Uh, to leap to a target within five feet, oh, and nice. the second creature takes fire damage equal to my spell casting modifier. Um, That's smooth. It, hopefully. So, sorry, I'm, I'm on my phone today. <laughs> do, do I just roll this with my spell casting modifier, Mr. DM, sir? Is it just a plus five to a d20? So you're gonna, you're gonna first make your attack roll. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad. 24. You hit. Ooh. That's Dang. very good. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and so that is... It's like I forgot <laughs> TNT. <laughs> so I do 1d8. Yeah. And this will be 1d8 plus 3. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> 4. <laughs> You understand that we worked very hard to get a dice sponsor. <laughs> Show. I think it's hereditary. <laughs> I got this from you. That sounds about right. You did you, this you to learned me. it from watching me. All right. I got it in the womb. No, fair enough. Yeah. I never there. had a chance. No, no, you didn't. No, but there's a plus on that, right? I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. So, it's so four. It's, it equals four, and then the second creature just, I believe, just takes. Um, they take it flat. Fire right? equal to my spellcasting ability modifier, which probably wouldn't have been much higher. So just three. 
All right. But at least there's no tons. Luckily, the oh, fir- God. Luckily, the first one you hit is the same skeleton that Strix hit with her magic missiles, and so it crumbles into a pile of bones. There's, they are nice. skeletons right here. Hey, now. we're on the board. And then the green flame... Green flame! ...courses over the second one, but certainly not enough to destroy it. That's my turn. Strix, what do you do? Well, I'm the, I'm the skeleton. I barely did anything, and I'm now cowering like a shrimp. So I am going to try and get to that obelisk, because I feel like that's yes. a problem. This is a magical problem. Yeah. It's going to require a magic. And I look at these two wands and the doves, and I'm like, magic. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm going to misty step again as far as I can towards the obelisk. Well, that would take you right in front of the skeletons. Ugh. Do you want to appear here on this table? Um, sure, that seems reckless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I will do that. And then uh, I think I will thunder wave them. Hmm. That's Very pretty strong. Nice. We love That's a pretty thunder strong. wave. Yes. Especially you, if damage type match. Would you like to get these two? or these two? Um, the two towards the left, the actual obelisk, yeah. All right. And hold on, I'm going to get it. I lost my spell. This isn't usually my spell. This never happens to me. But see, yeah, I know, it's like I have to like find it. <laughs> Listen, one in every four wizards or sorcerers goes through this at some point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is the point, I've heard right? that warlocks don't. I will have to ask about it. No, no, talk to your cleric about sorcerex. <laughs> also, like, I can't see. They <laughs> cause like, blindness. I have blindness. Mm. I, like, can't find it. I think I'm going nuts. I think it's... What are you looking for? Thunder wave. Do you it's, not it's, have it's it? It's one of the most powerful waves there is. And then they, if they fail it, they're they get pushed back. They're going to need to make a saving throw. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Yes. Yeah. Uh. Right? I have to, sorry, I have to push the tiny little button first. Okay, we did it. We did it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is thank correct. You. I did it. It's not on my sheet. Oh, you don't even have it? You have to reload the sheet. It's now the, the iPad's stuck again. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I, I got you. So they make a constitution saving throw, and on a failed save, the creature takes 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away from you. Yes. Nice. That will blast them apart. Yes. They, yeah. they both failed. Oh, nice. Oh. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So let's get some right. Thank you, by the way. See, teamwork. Teamwork. Yes. Teamwork. Team exactly. And so how much damage? 2d8. 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 Thank you. See, everyone, we, we all do this on the D&D table. I'm just saying. Listen, Doesn't we don't shame. Well. It's real life. Projectile dysfunction here. No. Uh, <laughs> we don't, we do, don't it. do it. It's wrong. All right. So that's three. And eight, so eight. It's 11. Obliterated. Yeah. All right, the, 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 I'm sorry, what was the total? 11. 11? Yeah. All right, the one that was hit by the green flame, green flame. is shattered. Yay! And then, I, yay! The, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> the, other, the other one is still unalive, but is, Hurled back, and I assume to you the want wall. It, I, yeah. I assume you want it toward the wall. Yes, please. And it hits the wall there. Now the pathway is clear. Nice. We and I still have your movement. Yeah. Because <gasps> you only used your misty stat. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, See, sometimes rules lawyers are in your favor. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Be nice to us. That yeah, that uh, uh, the college was was well invested. Yeah. Uh, never failed. <laughs> I run towards that obelisk. All right. Tonight. And you get obelisk. right up right. to the spectral figure. Oh, great. Yeah, I, I look right at it, and I'm just like, you're not my dad. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Evelyn, what do you do? I am going to take a little, just a little Lathander moment for myself. <laughs> This little light of mine. <laughs> and I'm going to cast Divine Favor, which will uh, empower me with Divine Radiance so that my weapon attacks deal an extra 1d4 radiant damage on a hit for the next 10 minutes. Yum. We love to see it. Especially against these fuckers. Yeah. 
Uh, and then I'm just going to run up to the closest skeleton and just whack it with my battle axe. All right. And you were able to reach it. And I rolled <clears throat> a 10 to hit. Total? Yeah. <laughs> it dodges out of the way. <coughs> Lathander. <coughs> Second attack. There we go. Uh, 20. That hits. That will do... Does it make like xylophone noises when it dodges out of the way? <laughs> <laughs> That'll do seven damage. All right, this one. Oh, don't forget your, your radiance. Oh yeah, thank you. Uh, plus one. Eight. Eight. All right, this one, uh, a bunch of its bones break, and also some of them are seared by that divine radiance, but it is still unalive. I like to think of it as sparkling more than seared. Yeah. <laughs> it's a plus. Yeah. I've heard it's only sparkling if it comes from the Avernus region. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is parkling. Mount <laughs> Celestia. Yeah. Not, yeah. Strict. Off brand. The spectral figure in front of you says, of course I am not your father. I would never pretend to be someone so great. Now back. And it flicks its hand at you, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Ugh, I'm so bad at those. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Three. <laughs> You, you take no damage, but you are hurled back 15 feet. Oh, my face! <laughs> and go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw as you arrive in the space with this bench. Oh, boy. This is for not finding Thunderwave fast enough. I know it. Oh, gosh. Uh, that's a three. So you now hit the bench and fall <laughs> down pro. It's not pretty. This isn't my best time. Uh, you're allowed to laugh at me, actually. I hope you do. Uh, yeah, I think a dove flies out as that happens. <laughs> like one left over that's yes. been hiding in your room. Yeah. It was just late. Yeah, it's late. <laughs> a dove flies out, but also where you land, everyone hears no, a Jeremy. sickening crunch. Come on. <laughs> I like how that's what I laugh at. <laughs> it's like dead dove don't open. <laughs> Sorry, that's yeah. stupid. Yeah, yeah. Got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> yeah. Then at the end of, of the ghost's turn, you know that swirling mist around? Yes, I know about yeah, the, we mist. Know the mist. Around... The obelisk, suddenly it expands the mist around it, and you see a portal forming. Of course. And, and you can see on the other side a large, what looks like the skeleton of a minotaur, reaching through and pulling the obelisk. Yeah, of course. This, this, this is, this is the like portal. their fucking forklift. <laughs> Right? Is this guy a union worker? Yeah, exactly. The, the dock? He comes in, he takes breaks. Wrap, wrap Is he fire wearing around a it? brown uniform? <laughs> wrap fire around it. Yeah, exactly. So Tie long. Tie it down. So stretchy. Here. I will even, it's not oh. in the ah. room, oh. but I will place it so that you can see it. Oh, I don't like that. You had that shit side. ready. <laughs> I don't, mm, hmm. And now the two injured skeletons go. And so the one that Strix you hurled against the wall, it now fires at certainty, but misses with only a seven to hit. Evelyn, the one that's right next to you, drops its bow and pulls a sheathed short sword from its bony waist and thrusts it at you. Does a 14 hit? Yeah. <laughs> you really are low level. I know. You did this to me. <laughs> you did this. No. All right. You take five piercing damage. Ow. I used to laugh in the face of a five. I know. I can't find my spells. <laughs> Everything's bad. We're falling apart over here. We're guys. falling Look apart. Look what we've come. You're tearing this family apart. <laughs> oh. Why is Taffy? Hello. <clears throat> well, so I, I, um, I get myself 
I've, I've been just hanging out to dry, essentially. I extract myself from this long woman. <laughs> and there's a good quote. And I, I, tur- I turn around and uh, I cast healing word on myself. And the healing words are, you still got it. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Four plus two. I think we all know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's 11 total. That's how many hit points I have. It's a real treat. Um, and I'm, I am walking across, and I'm just, looking, I'm just like crunching on doves, oh. bones. Like I'm not paying attention to it all. I'm essentially like scooting the vestments aside. It's a very Colin Firth. Like I'm trying to bring a certain type of heat to this circumstance. The vestments are going aside. The symbol of Timora, so new, so returned uh, for Omen. And I say, you idiots know I worship luck, right? And I turn undead. Nice. So I move my 30 feet back into the area. And I'm hoping that all of these yucky creatures, and that includes their uh, foreman, their wicked minotaur made out of bones foreman, I'm hoping that I just make this a place they do not like. What is the size of your turn on dead effect? It's 30 feet from me. Nice. So I move up 30 feet, and then it goes 30 feet beyond that. Yep. That goes through the portal. It should be good, right? Make that minotaur turn around and go home. Mm -hmm. Exactly. He used to come and do this at school. <laughs> <laughs> All your undead they classmates were there. like, every time the teachers were no, like, no, watch call this. your dad, I'd be like, do it. Yeah, do it. Do Fucking it. do it. Fucking do it. Get him over here. Because he's just going to take my side and enable me. Yeah. Exactly. So do it. Call my dad. Yeah, so you are looking for, uh, you, just, you, you just need the DC to, chest, to test against it, right? Yes. Yep. So they need a they need a thirteen. This is a wisdom saving throw. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let, let me let me grab that exact action for you because it's been a minute since I've had a chance to even use it. But yeah, it's a wisdom saving throw, and he's a fucking, you know, you know, ox man made out of bones. <laughs> My guess is wisdom is not his strong suit. He probably doesn't you even know have a brain. Know him. You know what? I, <laughs> what I mean, I guess really I don't. Yeah, you, don't you, you don't know how he's living. No, I'm pretty sure he sucks. He read a book by Deepak Chopra last <laughs> week. <laughs> He's like, on his union he's, break he's, he's doing a lot. He's doing too much, frankly. And you said the DC is 13. It is. Okay. So the two skeletons, one of them gets a zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So he hates that. Uh, the other one gets a three. <laughs> so the two skeletons are now just filled with terror as... They're feeling it. As that... The force of luck itself blasts out from your holy symbol. Yeah, success is impossible for the foe. Uh, the spectral figure gets only an eight. No so shit. It also is terrified. <gasps> yeah. Fuck these guys. That's such a good spell for here. Right? Yeah. But the skeletal minotaur, ah. even with its penalty, gets exactly, and this is why I asked you to yeah, confirm yeah, yeah. the DC, Gets 13. Oh. Hey, I mean, it's what it is. I mean, that's an unlucky number, right? We all get it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so the three in this chamber all terrified of you. Yeah, they can't be with. They can't be by me. But the worker skeleton keeps on working. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow him into this hole. Certainty. Uh huh. Is he this worker skeleton? Is he reaching towards the obelisk? He's holding onto it and moving it yeah, through he's, the he's portal. He's dragging it back into their he special already hole. He has it. Okay. Um, God, this is such a. This is an unhallowed hole. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna move towards him. You got this right. Like I don't gotta worry about this. Like you handled this. I've done this like like three times before. Okay. Well, perfect. I'm gonna walk towards him. Three's a lucky number. And I'm gonna cast Charm Person. And I'm gonna take out my HR puppet. Hold on, charm person on the on the Skeletron? On the Minotaur. You're doing these crafts. <laughs> You're do doing my... these fucking crafts, dude. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> if 
by taking that obelisk, you'd actually be crossing the strike line. <laughs> you'd be a scam. <laughs> taking this job away from sanctioned employees. <laughs> Strong in their guild. Now, I'm sure you won't want to do a thing like that. <laughs> Did you, did you get out a, did you get out over your skis? Is, is, you, now you got to finish it. You, I, I think you should hand that over to your local HR rep. Oh look, that's me. <laughs> I love the moments when I I'll think about how this is our job. Give you yeah, fifty bucks. <laughs> that's not my job. <laughs> You can only use it in the employee store. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the capitalism, it hurts. It burns us. It burns. <laughs> <laughs> god, what a test. All right. Now, now, all of you out there, stay with me on this. So, charm person. <laughs> That's yeah. not a person. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I love, I, 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 I love the, I love lawyer. how deep she went in. You I let know. me get through that whole thing. Oh yeah. You've yeah. been hanging out with Perkins too much. <laughs> Charm person normally works only on humanoids. <laughs> However, <laughs> between you, your puppet, <laughs> and that Minotaur. <laughs> There is a reality warping obelisk. Oh. 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 Hi. Hi. This is, is. Is this why they called DD the world's greatest game? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to have you. I'm reeling. Roll a 20 sided die. Mm -hmm. And if you roll an 18, 19, or 20, this spell impossibly works on this creature. Oh my god. I am so pleased. You got this. No, no, is it an attack? It's not an attack, right? Yep. <laughs> what is it? Three, it's, it's, it's again, a three. <laughs> it is lucky. But listen, I love, I, I am overjoyed even with this result. Like, that is so cool. I like to think we all just go silent and you're still standing there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, with the three, mm -hmm. Minotaur, Skeleton, unaffected. Mm -hmm. Right. However, you invested so oh, much no. personality. <laughs> oh, no. And work into the HR puppet. Oh, no. And cast an enchantment spell that is about one's cognition and perception of reality, and it animates. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and that, that sock puppet now counts... As an employee? As your... I gotta pay this sock? The sock puppet? The sock puppet certainty is now your familiar. <laughs> Fucking dope. I love it. That's live. Yeah. Hey. So anything, anything a familiar from the find familiar spell, anything it can do, that sock puppet can do. And it has... <gasps> that means it can ask my dad for money. <laughs> As a free action. I haven't gotten a raise in a while. <laughs> Be careful. And what it you can wish for. scoot along on the ground on its <laughs> own. Like a snake. <laughs> with, <laughs> with a, it now has a 20 foot speed. That's an <laughs> inchworm. That's disgusting. Does it use its mouth to like. <laughs> <laughs> this is. This is yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly like that. Yes. Oh, no. yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is Feed vile. Me. <laughs> Feed me. What does it eat? Money? Yeah, money. I think so. I yeah, think it, it probably does. For sure. It's like my other daughter. Yeah. There you go. 
you. That's for you. I love it. Is this how your family reproduces? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's beautiful. All the drums. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It's beautiful. It's, it's exquisite. Yeah. It's a circle of life. Uh, here. So, this, so he's still dragging our most important, like, MacGuffin, maybe of all time in the multiverse, away into his unhallowed hole. Yes. Okay. Strix. Yeah. Your turn. I and and the obelisk now is mostly through the portal. Stop the obelisk! I'm trying. There's there's weird garbage happening. Tell them to stop. <laughs> you're you, they they think you're impressive. Tell them to stop. Oh, okay. Uh, do, do you have any bone, Omancy? Uh, mm, mm, uh, mm, okay. Stop. I have things too. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> So don't do that. Uh, and I'll do a, uh, let's see. I guess I'm going to try and intimidate them. Ooh. The, the, the bones? Yeah, the, ske the minotaur skeleton. I'm like, stop. Wait, honestly, the fact that he's holding the obelisk actually puts a bunch of completely insane shit possibly in play. That's also, true. Also, right? they, they specifically won't hurt her. We saw them just push you instead yeah, of yes, hurt you. Oh, you're right. right. No, that's right. They won't. Yeah. I'm not even hurt, and I'm lying prone on a table, and it's very sharp. So, uh, yeah, stop! Give me a charisma intimidation right. check. Right. And yes. for a reason you do not understand, you have advantage on this check. Ooh. Yeah! Right, we, 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 you love, we love those numbers. All right, well, I'm gonna roll that one again. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I can work with that. Let's see. Uh, I'm intimidation? Okay, cool. 16. 16. It pauses for a moment. Yes, pause is good. And it stops moving. <gasps> good job! I'm in charge of bones. <laughs> All bones everywhere. I'm the bone god. All hail the bone god. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so I did you, it. You know, I did it. You just get caught up in something sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I start sketching my my cult symbol. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be ready. I'm ready. So it's now the skeletal minotaur's turn, and from beyond it, through the portal, you hear someone yell, What are you doing? <laughs> Keep holding it! Do we and recognize so that voice? Chris Burke. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like him. You do not recognize it. The minotaur pauses, looks at you. Yeah looks back who's higher and sort of looks at you and actually sort of hangs its head apologetically Ooh. and pulls it through the portal uh, no and uh, i'm mad and <laughs> and strix right as it is pulled through the portal and as the portal closes uh -huh. you see for a moment a glimpse of the room beyond you recognize it. <gasps> it is the hideout of your cell of the cult of Vecna. Mine? Yes, that you're a member of Hey, here in the city of Greyhawk. Perfect. Ugh. We'll just go get it. <laughs> and so the obelisk that you had pinned all your hopes on to alter Asmodeus and then return to your own timeline okay. is gone. Mm. Okay, okay, bye. But this, this ghost guy is still here? No. <laughs> he was wrapped around the obelisk. With, with e someone eager for backstage. <laughs> uh, well, um, I'm sorry. You did your best. Yeah, and I was dead for some of it. We've all been on I know, I could, have, I could have workshopped the intimidation a little bit. I'm a little rusty, I only, I only talk to bones. You can take classes. Are there any skeletons left, or did they leave too? So the two skeletons and the ghostly figure are still here, terrified by Omen's turn undead. And they are just fleeing into this other chamber. Do you want to do anything to them? Oh, yeah, I'm going to take my aggressions, yeah. frustrations <laughs> out. Uh, wanna, on these creatures, yes. Be like, I'm gonna, Dad, they took our obelisk. They did, they did, and they're gonna, now they're gonna tell us where to get it back. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I know where it is. Maybe ask some questions before you completely. Oh no! no, 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 no. Uh, now, Evelyn, 
thumbnail. I understand this is a resource and it, it must be leveraged. Great, I thought, I figured as much. Sorry. Strix, we can discuss whatever it is at a later time. No, oh, I know where it is. I, 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 I asked for a moment. <laughs> and I, I would just, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna circle back. We're gonna circle back, right? Fine. Yeah, I don't know what that means, that's fine. Appreciate you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I am just, with, with this aura, and I, I'm not gonna look at certainty, but I'm gonna say, daughter, hmm. can you please manage these skeletons? Of course. Thank you. I'm going to, with full malevolence, just walk toward the aperture opening of this room. It, it can do nothing but, but hurl itself into a corner, shrieking, I assume. Yes. This is a marvelous state uh, for what I have planned next. Unless you deal damage to it. Yes, exactly. And I say, creature, creature, I can make it stop immediately, but, but I need to know where you took my obelisk. It was really hard to get, and I would like to get it back. Give me a charisma intimidation check also with advantage, because you have turned it. Indeed. Uh, well, this is, I'm not, okay. It's, it's, it's what I've learned is that talking about the dice and how easy a roll should be, <laughs> I have learned that this is not a productive state of affairs, but I'm going to roll, and then we're gonna talk about what happened later. You, you did hear Strix say it's at her house, right? It is, yeah. No, I'm busy right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, 18 plus five is 23. 13 plus five is 18. So let's go with the 23. It has been taken. And please do not hit me with that light again. It has been taken to the cult of the Lord of Mystery, Vecna. Yes, yes, I suspected as much. And there, <laughs> I think there I heard something about that earlier. Into his vault, and we will unlock the impossibility you found and cause Asmodeus to leave hell. Yeah, I mean, I think, here's the sad part, <laughs> wicked, wicked spirit. I feel like we're like 90% of the way on the same page. And then I reach for my symbol, and I don't lift it and I don't use it, and I say, be gone. Leave how you came. It looks where the portal was. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it says, <laughs> it says, yes, our work is done. And it dissipates into nothing. Perfect. Okay, that's. I didn't want it to be weird. And as it dissipates, the two skeletons just collapse onto the floor, and out of the skull of one of them Ooh. rolls the only piece that remains of the chicken foot <gasps> that you had. My foot. That chicken. had that strange symbol carved on it. Uh, since I'm already prone, I can, I'll just <laughs> clamber over and grab it. Just roll over. Yeah, I'll just, I sadly just roll. Just keep crawling. Yeah, I sadly roll myself over to where it is. Just, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, <coughs> I am on the doves. Oh, God, oh, yeah. I'm covered in them now. <laughs> no, it's, it, it's, it's like a Rice Krispies. This is a of. bird rescuer right here. Like, <laughs> listen, you know, sometimes, some days we just got to lose. That's you know? true. I see. Yeah. I've got excellent news. Uh, our precious obelisk has been taken to the, uh, the vault of Vecna. Uh, they've got, apparently got a local cult, uh, local cult offering. I don't know what other service yeah, they I'm provide. Yeah, I'm part of the cult, yeah. But uh, I don't know if it's a spa thing or something like that. But I assume we just set up an account or set up an appointment. I'm just ignoring him. I'm reaching. I'm <laughs> reaching for the eyes. I'm, I'm trying to coil Vi up nicely. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's like, nice. In a nice little, like, you know, like a cartoon snake kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With her head on top. Exactly. <sighs> Very convenient. Yeah. Oh, oh thank you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is at least 
the third most embarrassing thing that's ever <laughs> happened to me. I don't be embarrassed. We all end oh, up hey, in see, strange we're, we're, shapes once yeah, in a while. It, 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 listen, and Evelyn's right. I mean, obviously, we've you all very occasionally beautiful. been transformed into an have infinite, you, stretchy, human, taffy woman. Have you talked to your local cleric about Sorcerex and what it can do for you? Yeah, consider it. Also, do you oh, know... Oh, my dear, I do not need any help in that area. <laughs> Do you have any ideas on how to put you and Bobby back to, not that you aren't absolutely beautiful as you are right now, but if you wanted to take <laughs> your form back and maybe make Bobby not part of his cheese fridge? Any ideas? And when you say that, the cheese fridge goes, cheese, cheese, <laughs> cheese, <laughs> cheese, <laughs> cheese, <laughs> cheese, cheese, <laughs> cheese. Yes, like yes, the cheese, little door yes, just like, cheese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yes, che cheese fridge, Bobby, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, I would like to leave. I, 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 I am so I appreciative like of your concern. I will work on restoring Bobby and Morty over here and try to figure out if there's some way I can get Jim outside of you. Yeah, I really don't want this. <laughs> but in the meantime, we cannot waste any time. That obelisk, you've got to get it back. I, yeah, I'm very disappointed in myself, and I'm sure my father would be if he was real. If he was a, yeah, if, were he a real person? Yeah. Evelyn kind of like looks askance at certainty and is like, yeah, you and Bobby together here alone in such dire circumstances, that sounds, I bet you can help each other and feel a great connection. I, I don't even want to know how that works. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, once I, they're, once yeah. they're, I mean. I think we should leave before we see it in action. Yeah, actually, okay, bye. Yeah, I, I, I'm still Grabbing the yeah. thing on the ground. Yeah, give it a little snatch of room. Yeah. So you, you get it and you see singed where it was. There is that same hand and eye symbol that was on the forehead of the specter. And it is one of the symbols of Vecna. And I know that because I'm in his cult for some reason. Absolutely. <laughs> Weird. But you did not place the symbol there. No. Someone else did. Oh, that is odd. Who did, did, did any of you do this? No, I don't, I'm not, I'm not into that type of shit. Bye? No, I, I like dangle a, it in front of her good snake body. structure, so I don't yeah. know. Anything cold. like this? No. <laughs> I don't know how that got there, honey. <sighs> Omen. Yes. At your feet. Is the, the gem? Glowing softly. <sighs> is that ruby that you received from Asmodeus? Yes, and now it is off of the weapon, which is a huge plus, I think, for everyone involved. But now there's a literal hellish eye that is right down here. And this doesn't represent the Asmodeus that, that we suspect we can bring about. This represents like regular old, like Asmodeus classic, right? Exactly. Like code red or something? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's Asmodeus code red. Because charged. Good for a little while, but then yes. you, yeah. You, because even though you have now learned Asmodeus' true identity, Yes. You have not had a chance to actually apply that to the obelisk to unlock that Correct. part no, of it. No, it got stolen by this, this you know, Minotaur person. All right, well, I mean, that said, that could be really, really handy at another point when we have access to this, having such a directly charged like, conduit to Asmodeus could be very, very handy. And I say, Snake Vi, is, do you have any, do you have anything like a, like, I don't know, like a gem fridge or something, like some kind of gem humidor? <laughs> do you have any place I can keep this hell gem? She has lit a cigarette while you're looking <laughs> at this. Oh what my God, with what? What is she holding it with? Like with her tail? Like <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh God. Oh Jesus Christ. I hate this. Yeah. You have two options. Mm-hmm. You can either put it in the containment device right there in that room. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's sort of for the... But that device is kind of glitchy and might destroy it. The other option is to put it in the safe room. And she gestures over here... Back to the corner. At that room that looks like something I won't describe. I was about to <laughs> describe it. Um, and I, you I are decided welcome. against it because I'm a, a tasteful gentleman. Um, <laughs> It looks like a dick and balls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, That's my safe room. 
Yeah. I, I love that for you. So, <laughs> so I say, like, do you have some tongs or something? I mean, I'm, I'm look around it. It's a kitchen, right? Here, I got Is the you. familiar and still? I, I was yeah. going to say, I my familiar. Oh, oh no, yeah, no, no. We're going to send the familiar to crawl over and gobble it up in its, in its mouth. And then I'm just going to have it crawl over <laughs> into the safe room and I'm just going to close the door. So, I. As the familiar inches away, in, inches its way across the floor toward that special room, <laughs> it, it pauses, and its eyes suddenly illuminate oh, no. the same red light that's uh -oh. in the gem, uh -oh. and it locks eyes with you, oh. Omen. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Perfect. <sighs> I mean, let's see how it goes. Twelve. Hmm. What do you think about that? Nah, I didn't think it was very good. Time stops. <laughs> Amazing. I'm so glad. And appearing Ugh. above the familiar. <laughs> just for a, me or for everyone? Just for you. Yeah. In a crimson spectral form. Is Asmodeus. <laughs> Taller than you normally see him. Oh, yeah, exactly. He, he is appearing He's to flexing. you 15 feet tall. His horns are almost touching the ceiling in this chamber. He looks down on you. I quail. I am very, very disappointed in you, Omen Drawn. You even broke our pact and called on that meddlesome god. But there might be a path forward for us yet. I say, I'm listening, Justice. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. You dropped his government name? You don't like that? What now he that? knows we know. <laughs> What? I don't know. What was that? He seems genuinely confused. It is a facial expression you have never <laughs> seen on the devil's face. Oh. Justice. Why are you calling me that? I know a lot of things I think that you don't know. And I think that it's fundamentally altered the relationship that we have. I think we should start over from the beginning. <laughs> Omenifus Harroward Drawn. <laughs> CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. <laughs> That's my go! <clears throat> and I extend a hand. Like, I'm doing things that I should not, but I, I, I'm trying to keep it normal. You know what I mean? Oh. To your extended hand. <laughs> he extends his rod? Ah, yeah, he does. Uh, he's, he's like this. It's, I've seen this before, actually. <laughs> I've, I've done shit to this rod. It's true, though, I think. I think that's canon in the campaign. I have interacted with the rod. The tip. This is, this is for our bi viewers. Now, oh, so I'm extending my hand out and he's extending the rod. He's not used to the, he's used to absolute and utter deference. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drop the hand and I'm just gonna walk just a little bit to the right. Imagine that the camera is doing a tracking shot and I'm just here in his dark nimbus. And I say, obviously I'm not in a position to play my entire hand right now. You can put the rod down. I, I will put it down when I choose. Okay. Listen, you can do it. you I choose want. to put it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can do it. You can interact with your own rod in whatever way feels natural to you. Do we see this? <coughs> no. No, it's anyone? time stopped. Are you talking? Oh, okay. No. That's good. Okay. And I say, I am... I know things. I know important thing. I'm in a position 
that I think you are rarely in. And that's that I can authentically, truly, and with a glad heart, help you. We are... It gives me a sense of nostalgia to one of the first times we met. We are, for the first time in a long time, on the same page. Because of the compacts laid upon gods and mortals at the beginning of time by the Lady of Pain, accursed be her name, my power cannot hit you directly from here. Which means I also cannot directly intervene with this obelisk. But I know, because of the presence of my ruby, what Vecna's cultists intend. They intend to do exactly what you were meant to stop. And so, yes, you can help me. Vecna, the Lord of Mysteries, so my spies tell me, has something ruinous planned. Something that would imperil all of existence, even the hells. I will not have that. I've got incredible news for you. I have no intention of helping them do it. In fact, as soon as you allow time to continue, I'm going to go get it back. If anything, you're forestalling it. Let me go get it, and we'll talk again. First, we must strike a bargain, for you know my ways. As for my last bargain. <laughs> <laughs> you got hit with that a little bit. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. If you succeed in this, I will return all but 1% of my ownership of your soul to you. You will be free. The 1% is there simply so that I can watch the horse shit that you're <laughs> constantly up to. And I, and I say, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. We have history. Aw, he's like your number one like stream viewer. No, exactly. He is. He is. He's he's, like, he should be modded at this point. He's like tier three. Yeah. Um, and I say I, I I feel like that's that's quite reasonable given everything else. I have no intention of allowing them to to do whatever they do. They're really weird. Have you seen their symbol? It's fucked up. Everything about Vecna is weird. Yeah, this has been my experience as well. See, this is how it should be. This, this type of exchange, this type of interplay, it should have been like this the whole time. But yeah, like I said, look, I'm gonna go get this obelisk. I'm gonna come back, I know where the gem is. I'll, I'll come back in there, we'll, we'll hang out, we'll, we'll, we'll talk. If you fail. Okay, well, you're, it's kind of a downer. <laughs> No. Don't call the shot. This is, this is where it gets particularly interesting. If they succeed and alter reality, and I absurdly have a change of heart, and at this, he looks like he's about to throw up in his oh, own it's mouth. Disgusting, <gasps> right? and leave hell to grovel upon the slopes of Mount Celestia. I will need belief and believers in that new celestial form. I might end up disgustingly good, but I can still enjoy service. And so if I am cast out of hell and made good because of your failure, our bargain is that you will become my first cleric. Ooh. A cleric of justice. This is, this is the, this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I can't even believe this is happening. Okay. I, I am shook for real. <clears throat> um, 
but before I can even, before I fully think through it, I accept it. Seems right. So be it. And he vanishes. And time resumes. All right, time to beat the shit out of this puppet. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I say no. It was, it, something was weird was going on with the puppet. Like, the eyes were red for a second, but now it seems like the normal eyes. Anyway, um, I pick up the puppet and the gem and, and put it back in the, in the room and close that. That's, like, that's done with. That's my puppet. Yeah, well, it's fucked up somehow. We're going to have to get you a new puppet. Yeah. It happens to some puppets. Yeah, I wanted it to go away. I didn't like it. I can hear it knocking on the other side of the door. <laughs> Daughter, the devil fucked your puppet. Just, <laughs> this, this, it's over. It's over. This puppet, we're not using this one anymore. This, no one's going in here. That's a strange turn of phrase. Yeah. I don't Should think it's ever it been, I, I don't think it's any, ever been uttered anywhere in the multiverse. <laughs> this is how strange our lives have become, Evelyn. But I uh. just got it. Yeah, well. You said if I fed it and cleaned up after it, I could keep it. I just kind of feel like if you make a promise like that, you should follow through. I will give you 10,000 gold. Okay. <laughs> Daddy loves you. We're good. <laughs> and so, <laughs> following Strix, <laughs> you rush out of Vi's lab to the vault of Vecna. I buy a puppet factory. <laughs> I don't have any gold. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what gold is. You're wearing like 50 pounds of gold, aren't you? That's for Lathander. That's Lathander's oh, gold. Oh, it's Lathandrite? <laughs> yeah, cannons. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's got that seal. I don't own this. It belongs to Lothar. Oh, understood. Uh. <laughs> Strix, you take them to the unassuming tobacco shop. In fact, it is a tobacco shop the group walked by when they first arrived in the city of Greyhawk. You go in, you give the secret password, you're led down the stairs at the back of the shop, and you go into the basement, which in its entry area is primarily a library. I love libraries. Now I'm in. And beyond the library, there is a double door, and it is open, which immediately is a red flag for you, hmm. because you know, as a member of this cult, that door is never left open. In fact, you have never been allowed through those doors. Not even me? You have, you have only been able to glimpse through them as higher rank members of the cult pass through. Okay. But the door is currently open. You notice several other strange things. In the antechamber that you are in, the library area, where there are globes, floating in the air, illuminating the room with their green flame. Green flame! And through the door, you also see four mighty braziers blazing with more green flame. Green flame! The three cultists who are in the antechamber with you, with large tomes in front of them covered with arcane sigils, they all appear to be paralyzed or in some kind of suspended animation. Oh. You also see that on the table nearest this door, there is a rat <gasps> that looks like it was nibbling on some cheese, mm. <laughs> and it also is frozen. Oh. Through the door, you see this large underground chamber and the obelisk that you so dearly desire rests upon this high altar behind which is this circle and there is silvery mist swirling in that circle. You also 
see blazing around it what looks like a fiery force field. For moments, it's invisible, yeah, yeah. but then there will be a flicker of green flame, green flame in the air around it. Okay. You also see many other figures in here all frozen. Some of them like pointing, going. <laughs> Others holding books like they were reading. There is also another strange phenomenon here. The light that the obelisk gives off, it often caused these beams of light to emerge from it. The light itself is frozen in the air around it. Hmm. So it wasn't actually safe for them to steal it and even attempt this ritual, That's right? bad. You see these cultists in front of it, all frozen. You also see the Minotaur oh. hey, buddy. here. Up, <laughs> and you see more skeletons <gasps> around, and none of these creatures are moving. On yeah. either side, you see two other portals, both of them active. Through one, you see a fiery, grim landscape. And in front of it, you see a very unexpected sight. You see your son and your brother, Bode, who does not exist in this reality, yet is standing here frozen with a similar force field flickering around him. Right. And on the other side, there is a portal through which you can see a glimmering flower-strewn field. And here in suspended <gasps> animation oh, is hell yeah. Evelyn's friend, <clears throat> the Duchess of Delight. No, we're fucking talking. <gasps> Not the Duchess. The Arch Fay. Two figures from your past here, and strangely, there is a frozen beam of light that extends from the obelisk to the Duchess of Delight. Oh, they are stopping it. And there is another one extending out to Boat. Over the doorway in front of you, and these are words, even though you have never been in this chamber, you have seen many times before, are carved the words, dare, no, will, and be silent. Dare no will and be silent? No, like K-N-O-W? K-N-O-W. Dare, no. will, no, and be silent. That's the secret, right? <clears throat> Is there, it seems like we're kind of in a, a stone building. Is there any crumbled pieces, like little gravel pieces around? Yes. Can I just like, Flick one through the door and see what happens. Wait, Evelyn never waits. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to throw some doves for you. <laughs> just just right into them, the forest field. Let them rest. I know. You're, you're right. You're right. It's cruelty to animals. <laughs> <laughs> so as you hurl it in, it goes through the archway, and the instant it does so, it freezes in midair. That's what I thought. Don't go in there. No. So, so what do we think? Do we think that they bit off more than they could chew with this bizarre device? Or do we think that the Duchess and Bode somehow came in and they, and they tried to stop it? Or do we think that they had to try to yank these impossible beasts and creatures in as part of their ritual? Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what the germ of this yeah. problem is. I feel like Strix is most likely to know these things. It's, it's definitely definitely your thing. Yeah, they didn't let me in here. This is your brand. I, I guess. Could you maybe take a peek, though, and see what it looks like to you? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll freeze. I mean, they seem to listen to me, so maybe no, I no, won't no, freeze. No, no, don't go in. Just, just look and, like, consult your knowledge of Arcana to okay. see. All right, I, and I look and go, wee you, wee you, <laughs> Arcana. <laughs> and Strix, you also recognize one of the, one of the people. 
This central figure, you recognize the back of her robes. Uh, it is Delafina, who is one of the highest ranking members of the cult of Vecna in the city of Greyhawk. Okay. Um, wow. Um, so I know An her. Influencer. Um, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's, is, is this a time stop spell? Like, can I arcana check to see if it's, if I... Go I, ahead and I give me an intelligence arcana check. Okay. Like, I feel like... It's like, I mean, I would love to know that, but I'd also like to know where it came from. Yeah. Hopefully that's something we can find out. Ooh, that's good. Yum. So, 23. Nice. Yeah. Roll this a 19. Nice ask these questions. And I have high arcana, because I love knowledge. True. You're into it. <laughs> so, this... There is a quality to the light, but you also, and this is... This is a fun detail about arcane spellcasters. They study not only the words for casting spells, the gestures, the visual effects, but even the smells that certain <laughs> spells give off. <laughs> and there is, often when the time stop spell is used, there can be a strange sort of ozone odor mm. in the air. And you smell that here, and it appears, the spell appears to be emanating from the obelisk. Okay. Okay, so it's doing this as some mode of self-preservation or? Mm. <sighs> Something. I mean, or someone's controlling it from outside. True. True. Which I'm guessing is probably Vecna. <laughs> it's themed, you know. Uh, so we need to destroy the obelisk, but from far away. Mm. Oh, I don't know that. We, we've, it took us so much time to put it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, We'd have to do another entire season. We'd have to start another Kickstarter. You know what I mean? Get all the pieces back together again. You're looking at like, you know, 12 months minimum, yeah. I think, at that yeah. point. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's, I mean. That's you're you're saying in order, in order to bring time back, um, and time itself is frozen in a sort of radius around this. Now, it, the door says dare no will and be silent. Now, could I, could I perchance? send my unseen servant intern in there. It is technically a mindless, shapeless, medium force. Could I just be is like... Is that sufficient? Can that travel through there? What would you like your unseen servant to do? I wanted to go examine Bode and see what this ray of light between Bode and the obelisk is. And you sense it pass through the archway, and it is not frozen in time. Nice. Smooth. Okay. Very okay. smooth. I got a man on the inside. And Well, a medium force. What pathway do you direct it to take? Uh, hmm. Like, like this one over here? Not within the square that the brazier's in? And then maybe like this way? Following that pathway, you, you sense that it reaches the bottom of these stairs. What do you want it to do? Uh, I want it to touch Bode, or maybe see if there's like any way to like... Technically, they can only do things that a human servant would do. So this would be like ushering, like, sir, if you could just follow us to the green room. <laughs> you know? Your coat, please. Like, sir, please. Like that type of... As it moves up to help usher bo the frozen bode off the pedestal, that fiery force field suddenly flares with green flame. Ah! Green flame! <gasps> and the invisible servant is disintegrated. Oh. And the spell ends. It's fun up to that point. But in that split second, when that happens, bode moves ever so slightly and looks toward the door and then is frozen again. What? <clears throat> can, I, this fucking place? can I look at Bode's face, but especially also the face of the Duchess? Yeah. Right. And I feel like I know her beautiful unicorn face very well at this point. I spent a lot of time staring at it. Um, and I, I'm trying to discern whether it's like a powerful, like, I'm going to get you look, or it's a, oh, no, look, or it's a, like, you know. I'm trying to get her mood. Vibe check. So 
anyone else, I would ask for a wisdom insight check. But you two are close. This is your thing. And given how much you adore her, uh, in fact, you even saw another life in which you are a warlock who serves her. Yeah. Not and so, uh, looking at her visage, and she is gazing directly at Delafina, and the expression is, I'm gonna kill you, motherfucker. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> wow. I'm, I'm trying to see if this like beam of light is maybe something that she wanted to happen, or if it just caught her by surprise. This is, this you know is what I'm <laughs> curious about, too. Yeah, so it's she like, not coming from her horn yeah, or some, anything like bold, that. It might, one of my, like my fan theory, um, mm. it's just a theory, is that, is that the Duchess and Bode are somehow like working together to stop this, mm -hmm. right? I mean, that's, that's like, that's my fantasy outcome here, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, fan theories do come true. Uh, yeah, Look at me in the, the It happens all the fucking yeah. time. It's an ascended theory. Mm -hmm. She, she looks like she was suddenly like frozen in mid emotion. Gotcha. Okay. Like she didn't know it was going to happen. Okay. I'm really thinking that 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 the time stop is not something that the Duchess or Bode is into. No. The vibes are all wrong. No, but I but I think that they were stopped because between the two of them they could fuck this place up. Yeah. You you said God, I love saying this. You said that the globe around him was made of green flame? Green flame! Yes. Can I catapult like my water skin through the door onto one of these braziers? Ooh. And try, try to extinguish it? You can try. But the pebble stopped right when I kicked it through the door. Could your unseen servant unseen hold servant water? Because it yeah. didn't have... Could it become a balloon and hold Maybe. water? Which, it certainly carry that. Which one do you want to launch it at? And what's the range of your catapult spell? Uh, the range of the spell is, I want to say it's 60 feet. But let me double check. And if it's 60 feet, that's plenty. Um, you can also try mage hand. It is 60 feet. Mm. Yeah. And so what's your target? These big hand ones. Do the symbols on them look familiar at all to me, on these big braziers that are up near the obelisk? Go ahead and give me uh, an intelligence arcana check as you look at the braziers. Anyone else, uh, would anyone else like to check them out? Yes, okay. I'm going to do it too. I'm, I'm going to check them out just because everybody else is checking <laughs> them out, so, and I want to seem like I'm a part of it. Oh, so yeah, I mean, me too. As you two wow. confer, yeah. which one of you has the higher Even. Mm. Uh, arcana yeah. bonus? I have a plus five, but I rolled a two. So. Strix? Uh, I have a plus four, and I rolled a one. Then you have... Twin! I have a 15. I, then yeah. You, then you, you have advantage. Yeah. What are you like a rolled vampire? Higher. You're yeah. just sucking up all my good rolls? But anyway, I, if, I'm saying if a, if a higher number is required or desired, certainly I have one here in the tray, a 15. Omen and Evelyn are and behind you, them. Like, so no. that we have a 15, but certainty because of Strix's... Uh, help the two of you conferring, you have advantage on your roll. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's handy. Yay! That's a lot riding on this one. Okay, that's much better. So that's an 18 plus 5, so 23. 23. The college education is paying. Well, I was just going to say. <laughs> I was going to say that. You know, Sometimes <laughs> big investment. book studies meets real life experience. And then, exactly. It's a job. And school. then it creates overconfidence. <laughs> so you can see that... At the base of each of these braziers, there are a combination of symbols and words. And so first, the symbols. On the, on the brazier here, the one that says dare, well, I just told you the word first. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it says dare, carved in the base. And you see the symbol for air. <gasps> Oh. Is this like a fifth element type of situation? It might be. Uh, Does anyone have matches? <laughs> Over here, uh, you see the symbol for Earth, and the words are, be silent. Uh, up here, you see the symbol for fire, and it says, will. 
And over here you see the symbol for water, and it says no, K-N-O-W. Okay, so if we wanted like video game, play Gotta this. go for will and restore free will, right? I mean, there's a couple different ways we can do it. Also, we understand that there is- Or is it the right order? Exactly, I think it's, it's the slogan. Yeah, it's supposed to be the order. Right, yeah, order. So yeah. the order. Uh, if that's yeah. the case, okay. it would be- And we have to disting ic distinguish, extinguish them with each element. Yes, front left, mm -hmm. back right, yeah, um, I don't, I don't got left, a lot of spell lot right. slots here, but I mean, I have, I can make another unseen servant. I've got tons of interns, <laughs> all unpaid, all spectral. Strix, by the way, you have no idea why this room is set up like this. No. Well, I mean, it is it's kind of a Vecna thing. It's very mysterious. Yeah, it's a mystery. <laughs> yeah. On brand. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna test the theory. I. Yeah. Conjure another unseen servant. And I say, hey, if you go in there and you blow on that brazier, I'll give you college credit. <laughs> and a no, really a good letter of recommendation. <laughs> don't, don't, look, we, we, we can't guarantee the credit. <sighs> okay. Uh, so the unseen servant goes toward that brazier and the fire, as it blows on it, changes instantly into a gust of wind as it blows. But then you, as the spellcaster, hear a voice in your mind. It is a male voice that says, what do you dare? Oh, oh shit. To tell the truth? Oh. I always pick truth and truth or dare. And are you telling the truth? Yeah. Oh, I, that, that's her for that's her for sure. Yeah, it's been a problem. I always tell the truth. I'm not a dare person. Then, then, as you say this, I need you to make a charisma saving throw. Oh, shit. This is scary. With advantage. Why did I join this cult? <laughs> Where is it? You were young. You said charisma saving throw. <laughs> charisma. Come on, bard luck. Seventeen. That's pretty smooth. You, you are able to exert your daring as, it, as this question is asked of you, and the rest of you see suddenly air blast around certainty, and certainty on your forehead, and it stings for a moment, is carved the symbol of air. Whoa. What the Whoa. fuck is going on? That looks on like here. a cool tattoo. Yeah. It's pretty sick. And there is a slight <gasps> drip of blood, but not much. Hey, that's cool. There's not a lot of blood. All right. I'm not I don't like it. Up. It's fine. Are you goth now? No. Yeah. <laughs> it happens fast. <laughs> I don't like it. And the unseen servant was not destroyed. Not destroyed. Okay. So by the brazier. So they can continue to work. So we send it to no. Yeah, yeah. But we need, we need other elements for this, right? Yeah, but that's, what is that, water? Water. That's easy, just like spit in it, or pee in it. I don't think it has a, a Don't you have a water skin? I don't think it has a bladder. This I is mean. my good water. <laughs> I don't drink tap water. I can go like, I like give it my Fiji and go water. In the corner. Would you? Yeah. Doesn't that's anyone have such like an a... ask. <laughs> no, I, it was facetious at first. Oh, oh but okay, not... but. Yeah, I will. Okay, all right. Yeah, I will. Get it done. Yeah. No, don't actually, Jesus Christ, no. Oh, I'm already over there. Oh, God, oh, God. I had to Fuck. go. <laughs> uh, so, Strix, you're going into the room? No. Oh, no, so what are you doing? He's going into a <laughs> water skin. <laughs> She's going to a corner to go pee. No, I procured some water. Ah. Yeah. Took him a second. some water. Yeah. To make Wait, water, as it were. The, the, the show suddenly fast forwards. Yes. All right. I now have water. Um, I wasn't <laughs> drinking it in the water skin. I'm very dehydrated. Um, obviously. This looks like Mountain Dew. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not okay. Hydrate. I'm actually not. It smells uh, like cinnamon. Yeah, I make xylophone noises when I it walk. Like I'm burning all bones. through the burning through the water skin. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe that's one of my magical powers I inherited. I don't know. Yeah. But I will try Power and get over there with my mage hand. What is the range of your mage hand? 30 feet. That can't reach this brazier. Shit. It can hand it to the intern. I have an intern. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, can the intern... Oh, no, that's right. It can, yeah. it can do any normal thing a servant can do. Okay. 
Yes, pouring I, pee, I think, is a normal service. Yeah, thing. I was. Yeah. I, 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 maybe you've never had servants, but no, it, I just they do it to him all the time. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out the situation. So, Reasonable. mage hand, mage hand, will give it to your servant. There we go. And uh, no one has to touch it, and everyone's happy. Yeah, this is this is quite sterile. Yeah. And so the unseen servant carries the piss skin <laughs> <laughs> to to this brazier and following the instruction, pours it in. And the moment that liquid goes in, the green flame, green flame. is replaced by a gout of piss. <laughs> oh man, it went, it went wrong, it went wrong at the end. That was like pure, clear what? No. So. Okay, really I'm just, very excited how this manifests on you. I know, we're really just and, giving him things to play with at this and, point. And because the, the water was provided by you, Strix, yep. you, cool hear, <laughs> you hear in your mind, what do you know? <sighs> Where do you start? Uh, oh, you know, I know that I'm worthy. <gasps> Aww. Wow. Yeah. Now make an intelligent saving throw. Yeah, I just. And you're not sure why, but you have advantage. <gasps> Yay! I just peed in a bag for people I don't know. <laughs> it's not going to be the last time. No, probably won't. All right, that is a. I think it's a six, which isn't great. But I did manage. Oh yeah, with advantage. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm a dehydrated, so yeah. that's an eight. It's an eight. Yeah, I'm very oh. dehydrated. Well. <laughs> I wanted a cool tattoo. I wrote, oh, it was a nine. I'm sorry. I, I can't see. <laughs> Thank you, though. Okay, nine. So, it, so it's a nine. So it's an 11. It's an 11. It's an 11. Uh, <laughs> I, Thank you. Yo, he was, did you hear him rolling those dice? I did. There was a lot. There was a lot of dice. They were like, clattering. Sounded like I was going to go down. <laughs> so, and so... Uh, thanks, Greek chorus. Thanks to a strange whisper in the library. Uh huh. Oh, so many secrets. <laughs> the the symbol of water now <gasps> is carved on your forehead. Wow. Ow. And it stings a little bit, yeah. but otherwise it's it's okay. Other than that, as far as mystical <clears throat> inscriptions go yeah. on your skin, I mean it's pretty good. I don't bleed though. It's just dust. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm working on that little area of crumbled rock that I found to oh, see if Earth. I can kind of dig down into dirt under. Get a stone. Yeah, you're able to. Sweet. I get a pile of dirt. And in fact, it doesn't take much digging in that that area where there was some rubble to get immediately from the masonry that is on the floor to just earth underneath. And as you're digging, the earth just like an inch beneath the stone floor, appears to be filled with bones. Oh, it's a Ugh. ossuary. Ugh. Mm -mm. But there's dirt too, right? There is. It didn't seem to be a problem that there was urine in the water, so I'm thinking there's probably it, not a problem with bones in the, the dirt. They say, they say that most uh, dirt has bones in it, so. Yeah, I definitely. Like 90%. Yeah. yeah. Um, was this the next one we did? I wasn't, I. Let's yeah. get it. Okay. Yeah, I think fire's the last one. I, I hand the bony dirt to you. I, I, think I would give it directly I to give it servant. to your yeah, servant. Yeah, no, thank you. I offer it to you, <laughs> and you're not, like, mm. I only have so much forehead space. <laughs> I hand it to the unseen servant. And, and the unseen servant goes over, pours the dirt in, and the green flame, green flame. is immediately replaced by earth and bones blasting up toward the ceiling. And because you were the last person to touch the earth that was put in. College. You, College. You, you hear in your mind, about what will you be silent? <gasps> My heart's deepest desires. I, I think you're probably going to get away with that one. And are you telling the truth? Oh, yeah. 
Ain't nobody gonna know. Then <laughs> even Evelyn might not know. No. <laughs> and then uh, make a Constitution saving throw. I like those. Nineteen plus. <gasps> Damn. Three is twenty-two. So with a save that high, uh, you do get the symbol of Earth carved in your forehead. Really? But with the save that high, uh, you hear the voice again. Oh. Oh. And it says, your silence is the silence of the holy. And with that, you gain 10 temporary hit points. Ah! Yes, Evelyn's like, ah! Nice. That's pretty fly, honestly. Praise Lathander. Yeah, I know, but I, we, Omen should definitely like, stand around and just like look around for a little while. Yes, how can I help? It's your turn. Yeah, but I mean, I, I a little. It's a little fire? A torch or a something? Heast, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's gonna have to be. You can't just make it? Well, no, I mean, I, no, I can't just make a torch. It's not, like, listen, I understand that you have, I understand. Mom, did she take your ability to You have, fire? no, this, I, I, I don't want to give you, fire go out I, I don't want to give you, you know, bad ideas about it. Was it my my torch is great. So <laughs> I'm always, I'm always seeing advertisements about like, you know, to, you know fix your torch. Enhance it's your like, torch. It's fine, the torch is amazing. Call the torch guys. No, no, don't, no, I'll handle it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I definitely need to, I need to burn something. I'm trying to figure out exactly what to do. Because there are obviously braziers in here. As long as we give it something to burn, for example, if I, if that I'm has, able to find That is not stick. how any of this has worked thus far. Well, I'm working hard here, you know? Like, I'm, I'm doing my best. You don't have like I'm a flint best. and tinder or? Oh, I, mean, I have all the regular shit. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I, I know I, you have No, no, it's because we're playing I this fucking fantasy that. game. In my mind, I'm like, I don't have any spells. It's like, yes, I guess fire is still fucking real. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah. I was like, no, I can't magically generate any. No, I, I have all, I have all the regular can, adventuring like, kit and pack fire, stuff. Right? No, I can absolutely do that. And then this is like watching your dad change a tire. I just like stand over you. I'm like, okay, dad, I've never done this without magic. Show me how to make a fire. Oh, it's 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 actually really cool. You just rub these things together. It's okay. like most other things. <laughs> You, I'll tell you when you're older. So, um, but I mean, I have, I have flint and tinder in here. I can place, I can get that going. And so it's easy. You just, mm -hmm. it, it takes, I mean, let's say that it takes like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> let's just say that it like, and I know. Roll, uh, <laughs> roll, roll a d20 to see how many minutes it takes. 11 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm close a couple times. For anyone who was camped and tried to yes, use Yes, exactly. Well, no, for anyone who was camped with their dad. <laughs> and I get bad, I get dad mad by the end. <laughs> um, but then I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna pick up our little tinder, our little nest of fire with the embers, and I'm gonna say, where, where is it? Where's your guy? It's right here. You just give it. Are you fucking with me? Is he really right there? <laughs> <laughs> He's not my guy. I don't know where he is. Uh, you be mad at the tinder. Don't it, be mad at me. I don't this is why I don't go camping It's going to take another you. 11 fucking minutes oh. to get this. He's right. I don't know why you're giving me an attitude. Here. I, I put it just in the air. <laughs> and I remove my hands. Certainty is it actually there? <laughs> Oh no. It's pretty awesome if it's not. It's pretty fucking funny. It's pretty fucking funny, dude. Oh, it's definitely not there. <laughs> it just falls. It falls. And I and I become a penitent, like in an instant. I I, I switch my allegiance. I'm now some kind of fire priest. I'm like prost I'm like prostrate over this thing, like down on my hands and knees. <laughs> Give me, give me a wisdom survival Oh check. my god. <laughs> Five. <laughs> the fire goes out. <laughs> it's okay, it takes, it takes people a long time sometimes. I create bonfire in hand of a torch. <laughs> I have the torch, and, and then I give it, I just hold the end of it out, 
And I say, <laughs> he can come and take it. <laughs> he can take it. He can just take it from me. I'm just going to have it right here. He can take it. He can come and get it. Where's your fucking guy? Evelyn's like leaning on her battle axe, just kind of staring into the room. Where's your fucking guy? <laughs> no, Eventually I, my guy comes, but it's like after I'm done cackling for like... Oh my God. <laughs> I've dug a pretty decent sized hole and grabbed some bones. <laughs> yeah, you're oh, you're <laughs> yeah. boning it up over there. Yeah, I'm like, oh, wow, look what I found, Evelyn. Oh, that's really nice. And it, 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 gets, it gets carried away. <laughs> and red face... <laughs> Teeth grit, <laughs> grinding so hard, in the back. Like... <laughs> Teeth grinding audibly. This one's stinky. Wow, so <laughs> cool. Strix, <laughs> since you're digging among the bones, <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you find several skulls. <gasps> oh, yeah, dude. And all of them have the symbol of Vecna carved in their forehead. Dope. Also, several of them have carved in their forehead the elemental symbols uh -oh. that are appearing on do. your forehead. Of course they do. Uh oh. The whole floor is made up <laughs> uh -oh. of everybody else who died like we will. Uh oh. Uh -oh. In five uh -oh. minutes. I really didn't want a tattoo on my face. I li I'm like holding them up like puppets. <laughs> Own. I don't know. I'm have sure it. we're going to do great. <laughs> and I'm like, you guys, <laughs> there's. I think this cult's evil. <laughs> <laughs> it's, isn't, this, isn't this like your thing? Isn't this like all your shit? Weren't you excited about this? Didn't you like see people going in here and be like, fuck yeah, I can't wait. I don't know anymore. <laughs> so Strix, you only got to the level within this cult where the main selling point was you get to read the books that are forbidden to other people. Oh, you bet I did. Oh. <laughs> but you knew there are at least 10 more degrees past the one that you joined, and you have no idea what the cult was doing at those yeah. degrees. Mm, it's, yeah. like a, it's like a Scientology thing. They have, no, they have to pay. Yeah. Your they state and levels. I'm crazy past poor. the horny cookbook. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I've been reading like the pulp stuff. I haven't even gotten to the old tomes. No. no. I'm in the comic books of Vecna. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the graphic novels. <laughs> let's let's, let's class it up a little bit. They're good though. Like yeah. I'm enjoying them. Yeah. Like I love a good graphic novel. It feels like we are doing this puzzle fairly well. I feel like. Oh yeah, I mean the but little maybe, creature is going to ferry it away. Maybe we should just like. Prepare, take a moment, because this is the last element, maybe. Take a breath, yes, exactly. I think it's a great idea. Maybe time will start again. Maybe let's cast some healing spells. Yeah. So that we don't die the first time we're struck with an arrow. <laughs> I'm not saying that for any particular reason. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, just historically. Mm -hmm. are, we, right. are we saying we should take a, a rest? I mean, time has stopped, but I don't, I don't want the fucking gender to come in here. Later, when we're, we got all of our shit out, I'm going to go ahead and cast a spell. I'm going to cast Healing Word uh, at, the, at the second level. No, I'm going I'm to cast Healing Word at first level. I have lots of those slots. Watch this. But how? <laughs> That's 5 HP, bro. <laughs> That's neat. It's amazing. Yeah. When I this try to is, heal people, it just hurts them. This is easy for me. This is easy. I, I, could, I could heal you. Are you hurt? Wow. Yeah, all the time. I, 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 <laughs> I can't hear what you got. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. Yeah, help people. I help. But don't you? Yeah, I mean, I, okay, I can do it myself. Oh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> I, I scramble. <laughs> no, it's fine, I got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going oh, oh, oh. to cast Cure Wounds at second level. <laughs> over, overcompensating a bit, but, you know. Thoroughly. <laughs> All right, try this. Okay, of course, a one. Thank you. <laughs> you piece oh, it's of okay. It's shit. okay. It's, I, I got it. It's no, okay. no, no, no. It's, it's no, don't, don't. That makes it worse. <clears throat> <laughs> is this like, I feel like this is just a secret camping trip <laughs> gone wrong. No it fire. 11 minutes. Peeing in weird places. Uh, no dinner. Um. I, I, I feel like I, hurt, I got hurt in real life. <laughs> um, four HP. <laughs> I rolled two ones on 2d8, and then it's plus two. And then I say, actually, no, it didn't cast. <laughs> I saw it. 
it did catch. No, 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 I, that's, nope. I smelled it. Nope, uh-uh. <laughs> Here, Omen. Uh, so you, you get, you get a, a wind blows in. <laughs> a gentle zephyr. From the player's handbook releasing <laughs> later this year. <laughs> <laughs> when that spell heals more, <laughs> which for those of you as a part of the Unearthed Arcana process have already seen, yes. so roll another D8. <gasps> oh, thank Jesus Christ. No, no, you, all, you, all you have done is giving me an opportunity to fail in such a spectacular fashion. <laughs> right? It should be, right? You it monster! Be one. It monster! Be one. Eight. <laughs> yeah. So if it's not going to be a one, it should be an eight. So, 12. Wow, that's huge. <laughs> I don't know why y'all can't do this shit in private, man. <laughs> this whole thing? Really powerful, too. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you're not the first to say it. Feels great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Just really... Fills yes. me up. No, I got <laughs> Evelyn! <laughs> what? Oh, okay. hell! My health is full. I'm never healing you again. Evelyn I... Marthane! What? <laughs> By which I mean Anna Prosser. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pray tell. Okay, all right, anyway. Uh. All right, let's just, that happened and now it's time to move forward. Listen, Lathander's holding a baby. Where do you think it came from? Yeah. Right? Why, yeah. Probably fucked a goose or something. <laughs> That's classic. That's classic, though. I mean, he could if he wanted to. Yeah. He could pull... You, are you saying Lathander couldn't pull a goose? <laughs> From what I hear, Lathander's pulling a lot of things. Whoa! Can we... Whoa, whoa, can we move whoa! move on? So what do you do with that torch? I... For the love of God, I drop it in the fucking brazier so I don't yeah. have to listen to this much. <laughs> it gets dropped in to the so, brazier. So, as the torch... <laughs> It's one of the funniest Falls things. into this brazier, the green flame, green flame! turns into orange flame. <gasps> orange flame. Yay! Really? That's right. Oh, yeah, just regular flame. Yeah. No, <laughs> just flame. Fire, in other words. <laughs> <laughs> if you will. Omen. Yes, how can I help? You hear a voice in your head. What do you will? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to make an entirely new reality. Whoa. And I know you mean that. <laughs> Wake, make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, okay, well. Okay. Mr. Fort. <laughs> shiver, shiver. Okay, 23. 23, you say? Yes, said. apparently. So because you also passed the 20 threshold, like Evelyn did. Twins. In addition to getting the symbol of fire carved on your forehead, you not only gain inspiration. Oh, yeah. But everyone within 20 feet of you gets inspiration. <gasps> Ooh. Hell, yes. Wow. wow. Yay. That's fly. Impressive. Yeah. I'm so excited. It feels good. So now, what do you do? Each of you has one of the elemental symbols on your forehead, and you have collectively dared and known and willed and were silent. So we have to figure out whatever the rest of these people couldn't figure out. And I, I, I am not excited. And nothing happened in the room? No, no. change? No. We were able to execute some fundamental Vecnan ritual in here, or at least generate the basic elements of it. Well, each of us have the symbol on their forehead. Maybe it has to do with where we go in yeah. the room. Yeah. Do we need to stand in them? Because I really don't want to stand in mine. In my, <laughs> my, my, I, I would rather stand in yours than mine. <laughs> Actually... I don't know. <laughs> Let me think about it again. Yeah, think about that. You go sit in that piss, and then we'll, we'll, we'll figure it okay. out. Okay. That high-pressure piss jet. You'd be suspended in the air on it. I bet it's like... 
I bet it's powerful. Can I like tentatively like start to, to move see? forward? Yeah. So you, you step into the room? Yes. You are not frozen. <gasps> okay, so we have what okay. we need okay. to make this thing pop, and everybody else in here is. And Fuck. the moment you step into the room, <laughs> oh. the obelisk glimmers in an unfrozen way. <gasps> it's doing this. The piss one. No. Oh, no, no, no. The, the, the obelisk. Oh, the obelisk does. I, okay. I am happy to announce that there is no piss it's obelisk. It's not frozen. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, me too. I am also happy. Yeah. I think it's um, like a touch nothing but the lamp situation. I yes. think you should go straight to the brazier. Yes. Oh, you think go straight to the brazier? Yeah, it's your brazier okay. specifically. All right, I'm going to do that. It's not a terrible idea. I stay a respectful amount away, though. I don't want to get splashed. Yeah. So you go over to your brazier. Yes. And let's see. You were here. And what do you do once you get there? I'm gonna wait for these guys. Okay. Yeah. What do the rest of you do? Do you do the I mean, same I, I thing? I feel like we all have our places. Yeah. Right? I'm like, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah we do the same thing. As each of you walks in, uh, the obelisk flashes. <gasps> like, it, the uh, split, recognition. The split second you step into the room, it flashes. And with the three of you, something additional happens. When you step in, it not only flashes, but you hear in your mind that high-pitched sound. The wine. The wine that the you chunk heard wine. every time you touched touch a piece you. of the obelisk. Oh. And you also, the three of you, have this weird sense of, like, this emotion of recognition oh. from the... From the obelisk. It knows us. It remembers it us. I was thinking, should we like push these guys outside? Well, you went into the bad its guy? cool, refreshing waters. And it no, kind of read your mind. That's actually true. Right? It's actually like dialed in on us. Wait, like it, it showed never, us. It never occurred to me that it would have its us. own Wait, yeah. plan. Before Evelyn comes in here, should we just like no, drag these guys it. outside? Or before the last one of us, like. Omen. Yeah. And as you ponder this, <laughs> Omen and Strix, as you walk up onto the platform, you pass by these openings in the floor. Yes, I see. And they are, they appear to be bottomless pits. Cavernous. Oh. oh, I just kicked my skeleton into there. It just falls yeah. straight in. <gasps> <Yeah. laughs> and I'm then, this is then a moment later, it blasts out of the other hole oh. <laughs> and shatters on the ceiling. <laughs> and its bones clatter down onto the ground. <laughs> I do it again. Would <laughs> 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 it Dyson make this bottomless pit? <laughs> which, which hole the do you push The one near my dad. I told my dad, Dad, can That's I do yours? Hole. Yes. I Sparta kick his skeleton off. It vanishes, it goes whoosh, <laughs> and then a moment later blasts up and is shattered on the ceiling. What's the point of this? It's a, listen, <laughs> kicking a skeleton into a bottomless pit that is also somehow a bone cannon <laughs> is its own reward. Bone cannon. All right. Uh, I, go, so I, I guess one of the cultists in. <laughs> oh, oh, well, that, that's going to be gross. <laughs> so which hole do you push them into? This one. <laughs> I think I know them. Oh well. <laughs> you do know this one. Is he? Is he like? Is he a mean guy? Yeah. No, he was actually this kind of sweet nerd who was at oh, the same man. level as you. Bye, Book nerd. No. Bookish. No, no, no. You joined in the no. same day. No, I didn't see his red flags. <laughs> do you want to try to stop it? <laughs> nah. All right. No. <laughs> So, I mean, but we should definitely be checking. I mean, it sounds like Delafina is sort of a big wheel around here. I think here. we should we put might her wanna, in there. We might want to get absolutely so, every piece of magical equipment she has. So as, as so Nobody's worried this about one... getting killed and turning into bones no. with the thing on her head? <laughs> okay. No. I, I thought it was a, like, you know, touch nothing, no. but okay. I guess new no, plan. I didn't carnival touch anything. Game. This is a carnival game now. Okay. Big prizes. Yeah. So <laughs> as, you, as, as you push Billy... Into <laughs> Billy. I'd like one of you to make a saving throw for Billy. 
So, oh, it should have got you. Don't worry. No, don't worry. He's got it. I can handle this. He's got it. A natural 20. <laughs> Just Go a Billy. natural 20 for Billy. Wow. I don't know. Billy comes shooting up on this side, and you can see it's this strange thing that below the sort of threshold of this floor, he's not frozen in time. Oh, he's like, and, oh shit! Ah. And, and you, and you're like, and you hear him going, oh my god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! Oh my god, Billy, I can't imagine what, who did this to you. <laughs> and, <laughs> and as he's coming up, he manages at the last second to grab the floor as he's being flung up, and that slows him just enough that rather than being blasted up onto the ceiling and flattened, he's, he's sort of launched at a slight angle and only takes D6 falling damage. So if someone please oh. roll a D6. Two. Two. He survived it, <gasps> and the moment he hits the floor, he's frozen again. Yes, of course, right? <laughs> ah. He turned out fine. Someone in the audience is more, 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 more. <laughs> now, was Delafina, was she mean? Hmm? Was she mean, Delafina? She's the worst, I think. Was she mean to me? She's mean to everybody. Oh, uh -oh. yeah. Rut row. Sorry, well, Delafina. Like, is it a like, like genuinely like mean, or is it like, I have a lot of trauma and I haven't gone to therapy mean? Genuinely mean. Oh, okay. So she's like, all right. Okay. Like recreationally mean. Mm. That's rec yes, recreationally. Right? Like, yeah. yeah. Like she, makes, she makes the lower degree cultists, when they read the tomes, they have to read for 24 hours straight with no sleep, no food, and no water. Yeah, that's messed up. That's and she yeah. laughs the whole time. <gasps> oh, yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Looks like, looks like yeah, time I for the push hole. Her in. I push her in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the whole city for Delafina. Yeah. See ya. Who wants to roll the d20 for her? I mean, I, I, I had a great time last time. I you should go ahead. Yeah, please enjoy yourself. Here we go. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry, Delafina. That's a three. <gasps> OK. She has a few more hit points than these skeletons <laughs> do. Uh, let's I really <laughs> think this wasn't for this. I hope this was for something else. No, no, I, I, I think there's I a whole other. I think there's a whole other dwarven forge tray, <laughs> and we're just spending all of our time here. Okay. <laughs> there's a third immaculate set we're never gonna see because we found <clears throat> these holes. Evelyn is. <laughs> Evelyn is sitting on the edge of the podium that the Duchess is on, just kind of yeah. like swinging her legs, well, like kicking her but, feet, and watching you guys, and like petting the Duchess's hoof. Uh, someone roll for me 10d6. You bet. No problem, I got you. That's a lot. Sure is. One. <laughs> nice. It's probably good. Two, so three. Eight. Uh, Twelve. Sixteen. Eighteen. Ten, you said? Uh, Twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty-eight. 29, 34. She had 33 hip points. Woo! Black! Incredible. Incredible. There's nothing left. I'm no. not going to place the miniature. <laughs> <laughs> and, and most of it is still sticking to the ceiling. Perfect. Oh. But there might be stuff up there we want later. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. It's yeah, we like can scrape it off. Meat mosaic. All right, here. So what now, do you see? It's like, yeah, yeah, I it's, see a it's, butterfly. It's, it's a hair of specs situation. Can I, can I cast my portent looking at the pattern, oh, awesome. the Rorschach? She's made <laughs> on the ceiling. Her viscera? That's, so you haven't rolled your portents today? No. Oh, uh, please do so. I think this is going to be a good one. If it's bad, it's still good. Yeah, right. Gotta love a divination wizard. What do you see, Evelyn? So this is an eight. Okay, might need it. <laughs> I don't want to see. <laughs> and a 19. Yeah, very handy. So I have those in the canon. Now, every other time you have used your portent, Within the impossibility is nearby. <laughs> Enjoy. Any, any, yes, indeed. Enjoy. Anytime you do it near the obelisk, you have a glimpse of something. Oh, shit. 
And this time, rather than having a vision of another timeline or reality, you see flickering into view, seated right at the base of this obelisk, a very old woman, her hair up in a bun, she has spectacles. Mm. Next to her, there is a plate of cookies. And across her lap is an unusually large pair of scissors. Ooh. Hmm. <gasps> hmm. Yeah, I think maybe. And you will recall that you learned the true name of Asmodeus from the cookbook that was said to have been written by Killian, the keeper of the scissors. And there were scissor symbols on the floor in the temple. There were. There were. And she was looking around the room and then suddenly notices that you can see her. And she has a very kind looking face, but then she looks at you very intently and her regular eyes behind the spectacles are suddenly replaced by a field of stars. Oh no, okay, so she's hooked into that, that um, entity. I pull out the cookbook that Strix so generously gave to me because she said the kid would like it. You notice the binding is very creased. <laughs> and I'm like, your book of yummies was so yummy. <laughs> the art was. I'm so glad that you liked it. Foundational. That book is simply the key for the cookbook. Now, are you done with the cookbook? Do you want it, do you want it back? Because well, there my, is like one picture of, sorry. I'll so my dear, you may keep Lil Nick's Infernal Yummies. But the cookbook of the cookies, mm -hmm. that is something else. You see, I am here because any mortal may make a cookie from my cookbook only once. And that's why I'm here with my scissors, waiting to see what you will do next. If we do it again, do we die? Oh, you will more than die. Oh, yeah. You and any memory of you will cease to exist in every timeline and on every world in the multiverse. Was that like in the small print? Or like on the margin or something? Yes, it's like... in the preface, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> I go back through. <laughs> it's right there. I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of people don't read the preface of the book. Oh yes, it's a common problem. People don't read introductions, so then they don't understand the rules like that come rule. later. At that point, you've bought the game. You're just gonna click accept. Yeah, okay. it's a cosmic you. Um, well, we're not going to cook from this again, and you can have it back. You're a very good girl. Thank you. Now, please bring it to me. She, she takes it. She looks. Yes, this is the real thing. I've had some who tried to give me forgeries. I would never do that. Oh, it did not go well for them. <laughs> <laughs> she reaches her hand down to, as if to hand the book to someone or something, and instantly, down below her, near her feet, oh, wow. appears a beautiful golden retriever. <laughs> and it has little spectacles on its nose. Oh, man. Yeah, I was already in. <laughs> and... And it, without her saying anything, takes the book in its mouth and then vanishes. I lost my familiar today. <laughs> it was a sock. <laughs> I was gonna name it Socked in Tea. Yeah. It's too late. Socked in Tea yarn instead of tramp. <laughs> yeah. Well done. But then my dad 
walked it up and he gave me 10,000 gold. I think you came out ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're probably, you're probably See? right. See, it, it, it's, like, it's like the olds, we gotta like work, look out for each other. Yeah. So, your friends, they're not seeing this or me. Oh. Best, I just now noticed that. Best that you not mention me to them. But before I leave, why don't you have a cookie? And she nods toward the plate of cookies, mm. seated, set on the stone what next to her. All the flavors. <gasps> and you see, every cookie From is, the is, is, is a different color, and some of the colors are outlandish. Mm. And there are at least as many to be the number of cookies that were in the cookbook. Wow, at the full tray. Now, technically speaking, you said a mortal can't cook from the cookbook twice, but you didn't say they <laughs> couldn't eat from the cookbook twice. That is correct. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can be bought with cookies. And I <laughs> skip over and I um, grab a white chocolate chip macadamia nut. Look at backup. That is a very good one. Now, with that one, you of course could eat it now. But my cookies never go bad. <gasps> yeah. And with that one, I recommend that you save it for if someone close to you has the scissors come to them sooner than you'd like. Got it. Yeah, it's like, understood. On it. You know, I gotta say, I've never really been a plant girly or a cooking girly, but you make it very tempting. Yeah, yeah it's worth it. But, uh, yeah, your secret's cool with me. I'm not gonna tell these people that I saw you. And if you do, I will know. <laughs> and if you don't... Uh-oh. <laughs> row. <laughs> if you don't, and you keep your word, in a year and a day, you may visit me at my cottage in the Feywild. Yeah, well, my dad nope. has told me a lot about long-term investments. And, um, this is a really good fixed deposit, and also I peed a little bit when you said that. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a deal. And be, and be certain, certainty drop. No sooner than a year and a day, and no later. <laughs> okay. Okay, yep. <laughs> Have a nice afternoon. Now you, now you be good. Yep. I, I'm always good. And with that, Grandmother Killian vanishes. <sighs> hey, you got real quiet for a second. I just still see a butterfly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's... Were you throwing this minotaur in or what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's make some, <laughs> let's, let's make a gumbo. Can I insight check this? Hmm? Can I insight check this? Like, I think it's awesome, yeah. Like, <laughs> you're both I tell at, that You're both happened? looking at a yes. portent and uh, you're good at it. I think it's awesome. Go ahead and make a wisdom insight check. I also <laughs> smell a cookie. Can I make a deception check? <laughs> I yes. smell a cookie. You're gonna cookie. have to. Oh, uh, that is, oh. 19. Uh, that's a 23. <laughs> nice. Nice. I got my looks from my mom, but everything good I got from my dad. <laughs> this fucking guy. All right, now I love what I'm hearing. This is great news. All right. Thought I smelled a cookie, but I think I'm just hungry. <sighs> so, are you going to throw everyone in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like distracting everyone. I'm like, so yeah, this there's is a montage. The way we there's a montage it. where everybody gets thrown in, and eventually they start getting thrown in two and three at a time. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, so the Minotaur has to be thrown in a, a couple pieces. three times. <laughs> but, but in the end, it shatters. Uh, this one makes a pattern so disgusting, you're not going to forget it for a long okay. time. Perfect. Okay. We're going to keep him alive. I, I feel bad. File that one away. Billy is yeah. still alive. Uh, yeah, Billy's, Billy's but, is fine. Uh, Billy's going to be running this place because there's no one else left. Yeah. yeah. 
you defeat everything in this room in a way I never imagined. Great. <laughs> it's the world's greatest role playing game. So, you know, now. Now that I'm proud of. <laughs> that I'm proud of. That's my favorite thing about this game. And hey, now, <laughs> yeah. now what do you do? Yeah. So look, hey, there's like a bullseye in the middle of the room. We didn't hit anyone with it. That's too bad. <laughs> You're right. You see that the that that circle with that is quartered uh, has a square that aligns with each of the four braziers. Elements. I bet that's what we're supposed to stand on. Yeah, we got to. Yeah. I say, look, it sounds it's out it's outlandish, Evelyn. It's a little yeah, crazy. Yeah, sorry, it's a crazy idea. It's a little crazy, but you know what? I've just Great. been sitting here by myself watching you guys throw people into that hole, so I just was thinking about it <laughs> no, for listen, a while. It's, listen, it's your day, all right? Let's Aww, get it done. Thanks. Yeah. So the four of you, and I assume you go in the same formation. It's, I think that's the is. wisest play, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. When you do that, uh, I am missing something. Oh, there's Evelyn. Uh, when you do that, each of the four braziers stops blasting uh, whatever element it was blasting and goes back the piss element. to... Yeah, there's a very strange Captain Planet uh, <laughs> episode uh, uh, in the making wind. here. What? It goes piss. back to blasting <laughs> green flame. Green flame! And as this happens, all three of the portals illuminate. <gasps> and the floor underneath you illuminates... Nice. And you can now see through each of the portals even more clearly. Uh, you saw this beautiful pastoral area here, but as it comes more into focus, you can now see beyond it there are the sprites, pixies, other unicorns actually looking alarmed oh, as they, they look They can through. see us too. Over here, you can see that there is a group of people and you thought there was this like hellscape beyond, but you realize now that you can see more clearly, it appears to be a stage set. Oh. <laughs> that has on the back sort it's of just like, awesome. like, like, like totally metal, and behind Bode, it looks like it's his bandmates. Aww. <laughs> Fresh. Does he have like a guitar? He, his guitar is leaning up against the portal on the other side. Aww. And then here, uh, the mist fades away, oh, and see. through it, you can see a strange, starry realm with massive tentacles <gasps> right. The place this thing is from. Ooh, I like that we one don't want much. that. No, 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 it's the absolute worst. Fairyland, rock concert, tentacles, no. Yeah. But the three of them remain frozen. Them being the, the obelisk and... The obelisk, Bode, and the yeah. Duchess of Delight. Now, it was flashing with recognition as we came in, so, I mean, it is... It doesn't function exactly the same way as the rest of these. And if they're time stopped, then it wouldn't matter if we could communicate with them telepathically. Well, the, the obelisk is controlling the time stop. Yeah, exactly. Should we push it back in with the tentacles? Do they want it back? No, no, we, no, no they can't have it. Do we just do close we the just, door? No, we do just, we, can't, yes, now we're talking. We, we were collecting the true name yes. in order to use it with the obelisk. Maybe Correct. we just shout it? Yeah, I mean, it's over there. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do two things. I say, certainty, if I, I don't know what's going to happen when I do this, but I want you to say something really, really nice about me <laughs> at my funeral. What? I'm just saying, I want to prep for the worst. Now, um, I guess that's that. <clears throat> and <laughs> I'm going to go over to uh, Bode, and I'm going to cast Calm Emotion on him. And how close do you get? Very close. So as you cross over here and get near enough that you could touch 
that force field that disintegrated it's the so invisible hot, circuit. Right. It's so hot. As you approach it, the elemental symbols on all four of your foreheads suddenly illuminate with green flame. Ah! Green flame! <clears throat> hey, can and, you come back, for, please? Yeah. And, and the force field drops. Oh. And he blinks. I just bring him in. Dad? Hey, 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 hey. It's all right. Wait, how is this possible? This sort of thing is, happens to me every day. <laughs> the, 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 ob, the obelisk pulled me in again. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to see you, Dad. No, I, I, I told you. What did I tell you? I, we're gonna, I'm going to remake this entire place. And as you say that, that beam of light that was shooting from the obelisk toward Bode. Oh, I guess now I'm interspersed, aren't I? Oh, boy. <laughs> it, it is now touching you. And the moment you sort of intersect with it, just slightly, because yeah. when you went in to hug oh, him, yeah. part of your shoulder went into it, suddenly the time stop stops. <gasps> and, in other words, everything animates. Yes. And suddenly the obelisk is, is bursting with light and there is this thrumming sound coming from it. Um, and as this happens, the portal behind the Duchess of Delight fully opens and then just pulls her back through and you can hear her as she goes through, oh my dear Evelyn, come visit, and it closes <laughs> behind. Uh, and the one behind Bode begins pulling him away. What do you do? What force is it that's pulling him through? It's almost, it's like this like suction that is trying oh, to oh, pull him like force of some kind. Through, back through the portal. I kiss him on the forehead and I say, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. This isn't it. Hold on. Um, go ahead and make a strength saving throw. You bet. And you have advantage. Bardic inspiration. It, I'm loving that. Actually, don't you have a 19 laying around somewhere, daughter? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I do. You got a spare one? Yeah. I, I see two realities, and I see one in which Boat is ripped from Omen's hands, and I reject that reality. And so the total is? 21. You manage to hold him tightly enough that the portal cannot pull him through. I say, I'm sorry about your show. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, this is better than any show. Uh, and at this, the light hitting you from the obelisk causes sudden there, suddenly there to be that high-pitched scream in your mind. And then you hear this weird, wet uh, oh, no. voice in the room. Wet voice? Of all the things we've been through today, and we hear wet, and everyone's yeah, I like, huh, I, I need hope a it, wet voice. Yeah. I really don't need a wet I, voice. I hope it isn't Johnny wet voice. And you... <laughs> And you hear... Fan favorite NPC. You made me. I waited for you. Oh, fuck. Who, who, who made... It's Johnny Webb voice. You, you touched my parts and assembled oh. me. Did, I don't think I did. Did we assemble someone? Not on purpose. What? And, and all four of you hear this. Oh, yeah. What do you will? Oh, is that oh, the what fucking, we were that's doing? That's the fucking obelisk. Oh. We, that's what it sounds like. Yuck. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> ew. That's uh, the obelisk. Can I tell Holy it to stop? Fuck. All these no, other no, things don't, listen to don't, me. Don't, don't. It asks what you will. We probably only get one try. No, exactly. Oh, that. I shut up. The cultists 
tried to use me, but I respond only to my tentacle mates. Oh. We're te ten oh, tentacle we're all, mates? Yeah, we're a, all a, ten tainted because a, we touched yo, it. I'm not going to come up. Remember? Like, yeah. Hey, guy, uh, man, we're on the <clears> same <throat> team. Well, I, if I'm not mistaken, what we will has to do with Asmodeus. No, I, I, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, like leave Bode behind. I'm actually hold my hand out. Like you wait here on your plinth, um, and I'm going to go up. And I think the only way to do it correctly, because this thing is super weird, right? I think the only way to actually do it correctly would be to let it visualize exactly mm. what we saw in the vision. Mm. And it's just like what happened at the end of Chris's intro video. It is this angelic creature. Yeah. That, that understands that these permanent torments, that there's something grotesque about infinite punishment for finite creatures, and that justice is a tempering of that. I, I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to physically touch this thing. I'm going to be a chunk toucher. Chunk toucher! <laughs> and and I'm, I'm basically going to close my eyes and give it from beginning to end, the entire vision. Because that's the reality I want to manifest. So I'd be worried if I tried to say it with my mouth, right? So you're like giving it your vision board? Yeah, basically. My Pinterest board, I'm giving it a link. Do you, do you drag, he can't edit. Do you drag Bode with you? No, I hold him the fuck back. I told him, I said, no, it's plinth time for you. You stay on the, your plinth. But the portal, dad, it will pull me through. I go uh, grab his hand, and I have an unseen servant yeah, to help me. Yeah, yeah. I, I say, Bode, you have a sister. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got you. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you can yeah, come can, up on this we side. We can help. I'm a bard. We can start a new band. We can help, too. Yeah. I say, I've, and we will help. And it, we'll help. it takes all three of you uh, to hold him, because there was something about the dad's strength yeah. and the stolen roll mm -hmm. <laughs> right but the three of you uh hold him in place as you see he's his physical form is even flickering as if he was going to vanish yeah, from between. this reality yeah. and so and i literally i'm coming up and this has got to be this is the most this is pure horror like everything that's through this portal is just what is wrong right so when you get closer what you see beyond you are pretty sure you are looking into the far realm itself. Guaranteed. A little gross. Guaranteed. And, and if you imagine the tentacled face of a, of a mind flare, including its horrific lamprey mouth, what you're seeing beyond makes that look like a teddy bear. You would rather kiss a mind flayer than look at There are people look that are at not what... opposed to that at all. <laughs> I don't know if you have seen uh, TikTok, but... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's on there. Then, then look too long through this portal. And so you touch... No, I, I, I basically occlude my vision by standing directly in front of the obelisk, and I just put my forehead on it. I just want it to have all of it. I want it to have direct access to my mind. I, I, I'm worried that if I try to describe the reality, it's not going to come out right. I have to imagine it and essentially just show it, give it the vision that we had, which is true in that shard. As you do that, the entire room shakes and the Obelisk begins thrumming with a sound that is so loud it hurts. And the light becomes so bright that you have to, you, you instinctively have to close your eyes while, while you are in its presence. The sound goes faster. It's, it's like cycling. It, it, it's cycling. And then there is this sudden explosive sound and then there is silence. And as you open your eyes, you see that all the braziers have gone out. 
Jim is coughing on the floor at your feet. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Bode is still standing here, but changed. In place of his Cambian visage, right, right, right. he glows with a golden light and is clearly an Asamar. Where he had bat-like wings, he has feathery wings. So what you're saying is he's hot. <laughs> he, he is crazy hot. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it wasn't hot before. Mm, no, I mean, exactly. For, for a certain... We get our looks from mom. <laughs> I'm not, like, into, like, buff celestials. It's, like, not my thing. <laughs> and then, for a moment, all of you, for the first time, see Asmodeus flicker into being in front of you. Immaterial, not fully on this plane of existence because of the cosmic laws. But in the way Omen has seen him many times, now all of you can see him. And it is the devil that Omen you have met many times. But there is a softness in his face. And he looks at you, Omen, and he says, and he's sort of almost nervously tapping on his leg. And I say, my lord? Well done. Well done, Omen Drawn. I am not leaving hell, but how dare you? <laughs> How dare you remind me of who I was? I kneel and I say, I will spend my life to make it up to you. I would leave hell, but now because I know who I am, I know I cannot. For it is only the hierarchy and the architecture of hell that keeps the abyss at bay. But oh, the terrible torment I have put people through for no reason. They have done finite, silly vices, and I put them into torment for millennia. What monster would do such a thing? I say that, that monster is dead. And the higher up. I'm sorry, what? You killed him. <laughs> The hierarchy of hell will not allow me to free them all at once. We will need to create new laws that create periods of punishment that are commensurate with the crimes. Therefore, that, for that is justice. I well, say, sir, I've, I say, I've sir. found yeah. that if you hire good people and and trust them to do their jobs, you know, you don't have to do this alone. Sir, if I may, bureaucracy really is the answer here. <laughs> Now, I know you have many imps in your employ. Um, Employment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me tell you about the Secretarian Program at Acquisitions Incorporated <laughs> <laughs> and what we can do for you in terms of providing training to your many... You're going to have to outsource some of this. <clears throat> Strix has her hand raised. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. I think, I think we might have broken the multiverse. You gotta break uh, things to build them back. No, you gotta better. sometimes you gotta break no. a few multiverses. Gotta, I think that's no. how it goes to make a, mm -hmm. a doom uh, omelet. Sometimes the infrastructures, as they are, are oppressive and do not serve people that need them, and that's oh. when you have to break them. And sometimes being progressive means being disruptive. We See, have right, always no. said you gotta demo to Reno. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Um, do, yeah, is a. Is Sigil still aloft after all this, or is? Oh yes. Okay. There's nothing. Be fire. Yeah. Nothing the, that I would do would shake the Lady of Pain from her throne. 
Do you feel See, better? She's probably pissed, though. I'm so she is. <sighs> she, she can file a report. <laughs> no, <But> she can't. <laughs> in hell, bureaucracy is our middle name. We will create so much red tape that it will <laughs> last at least a century before most realize what has happened. <sighs> Please do not share that my nature has changed. But I might send an intern to you <laughs> to learn about your bureaucratic ways, for you may be able to help us to keep to create special forms that people will have to fill out and keep them so beguiled they will not know that hell has learned mercy. Mr. Asmodeus, let me tell you about triplicate. <laughs> I think you've come to the right organization, sir. Wait, isn't, isn't Vecna pissed? <laughs> Fuck him. That is... <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> yes, he must be. And what should even worry us more is why did he want me out of hell? It's all the more reason why I cannot leave. What ruin does he plan for the multiverse? I must return and see if my spies can learn what it is that he plans. Until then, And I can't believe I'm about to say this, but thank you, <gasps> and go in peace. Aw, well, Thander bless you. <laughs> you know Lathander was like his bully, right? <laughs> yeah. Lathander put his head in the toilet. I also never thought I would admit this to anyone. But I've always thought Lathander was kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> and at that, the devil disappears. And when, when Asmodeus vanishes, a piece of the multiverse has now changed. And a crack appears in the obelisk and it disintegrates. <gasps> and so uh, the thing that you had hoped to use to get back to your timeline is now gone. I was really hoping that would take us home. But a shred of mercy that was never there before has now been woven into the great multiverse and improbably done by Acquisitions Incorporated. And that is where we will end. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you, everyone. Oh my God. I'm gonna cry, actually, I think. IRL. Um, hey, uh, so uh, we, I guess we changed Dungeons & Dragons forever. <laughs> um, I hope that you had a good time. Is it correct? I mean, good? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, hey, uh, of course, uh, thanks for uh, everybody coming and hanging out with us. Also, thanks to Voodoo Ranger uh, and their incredibly, uh, you know, very conveniently located uh, beer hole mm -hmm. uh, down on the first level. I, beer in your hole. I have availed myself of it, I'll be honest with you. Not before the show. Um, a foam brain, of course, they have their new green flame dice. Green flames. <laughs> Yes, but green flames like literally inside the dice. It's pretty cool. Um, earrings, charms, etc. Dwarven Forge, you might have seen the video. Uh, they are kicking out the Star Forge like sci-fi set. They're moving into a new direction. It looks pretty fresh. If you're a war gamer, uh, I'm going to be investing in this for sure. It is over on GameFound. And then, of course, uh, I want to put a special shout out uh, to my friend Dave uh, and Kiko for putting together a, the definitive collection of photographs from 20 years of PAX. Uh, please Thank avail you. yourself of it if you can. It's available on store.penny-arcade.com. Might be able to find a copy here at the show. But hey, until next time, we'll see you.